the Glass Cannon Network. Yeah, yeah, Shub Nugurath, Cthulhu Fatagan. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Glass Cannon coverage from the floor of Gen Con 2022. My name is Jared Logan, and I am here to introduce you to yet another actual play. We are keeping the content coming. We are drowning you in an avalanche of content. <laughs> right now, we are going to do another actual play for you. It wouldn't be a Gen Con if Cthulhu didn't make an appearance. Um, and so we are going to now play a game of the classic horror role-playing game, Call of Cthulhu, for you. This is an original scenario written by your keeper, Jared Logan, and I'd like to introduce my fantastic cast. Uh, she is a singer, filmmaker, improviser, role player, Amy Vorpal. What up, what up? I'm Amy Vorpal. Very nice to be here, Jared. I have to commend you on your prolific game mastering. I think I would die under a panic attack if I had to run as many games as you are this con. Yes, instead of taking energy from me, though, it energizes me. And soon I will go Super Saiyan because I have so much energy. <laughs> well, I yeah, I love that you feed on content. Exactly. I <laughs> Give me that sweet, sweet content. I think you just called it daddy's content? Daddy's con Give daddy his content. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh boy, let's edit that out. Um, <laughs> oh, I have bad news for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's there forever. It's yeah. streamed. Ah, uh, uh, well. Um, Somebody uh, clipped it. Directly to my right, uh, she is an actress, cosplayer, role player, uh, a friend of the Glass Cannon. We are so happy to have her here with us, Alicia Marie. Hey everybody, what's up? I'm standing. I'm here with Daddy GM. You know, <laughs> I actually saw you live at Glass Cannon LA for the first time. Oh, right on. And I was like, I was really impressed. This man, like he came right in because Matt couldn't make it. Matt couldn't make it that in, day. And you threw down, like you took the house down with your barbarian. So Sam, I'm also impressed by you. Uh, this is you. merely an effort to kiss up so I don't yeah. die in a game. Love oh that. no, that's not going to help you at all. But <laughs> I do appreciate the compliments and I uh, likewise am an admirer of your work. Thank you. And I'm so happy that we get to, we're playing together for the first time. Exactly. The right. We're going to have a yep. good time. But you are going to go insane. Okay. Immediately to my left. <laughs> no. I mean, uh, we're logging a lot of hours together today. We are. Uh, another a talented cosplayer, improviser, actress, uh, and role player who you might have seen on my Dune stream, on my Wicked Empire D&D &D 5e stream, right. on uh, the current Mask of Nyarlath Hotep stream, on the Glass Cannon. So you know your Cthulhu. I do. Nora Ibrahim. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing great. I'm, I don't know what sort of, I'm, I must be feeding off of your energy because there is no way that I should be awake right now. Right. <laughs> did, did you, now, this is a Gen Con thing. Did you guys stay out late last night? Did yes. you stay out? How late were you out? I don't even remember. That's how late it was. Really? Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Late. Super late. Time hey, disappeared. Late. Time These are the clothes you were wearing yesterday. They were not. Uh, you were a liar. <laughs> <laughs> not Nora. start any rumors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's cool. I mean, uh, I was out really late for daddy. Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was out till 1230 and normally I'm like uh, a 1030 in bed guy. Ooh. And oh, if yes. it's a tiring day, 930, please. <laughs> so I can stay in bed and read my stories. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Alicia? Did you party last night? I went out for like maybe to like midnight. I was trying to text Nora. I was like, where are you? She's like, I have one party, then another party, and then I'll be there. I left, never saw Nora, so I know that you went to bed way after me. We, I was yeah. already face down by then. We know by the end of the night, but Nora was just in around a bonfire with bikers somewhere. <laughs> just trash can <laughs> fires, those everywhere. Yeah. Casting spells. <laughs> Probably. Probably. What else? At I don't know. We're at Gen sure. Con. What else do you do? <laughs> Let's talk to our yeah, final no. party animal. She is uh, such a great podcaster, uh, role player, actress. Uh, and uh, Time Watch Agent. Uh, we love having her in every game that we possibly can uh, because she's sweet and also uh, you're sinister. There's an underlying, mm -hmm. there's a dark There's a dark side. There's a darkness underneath the yeah. sugary outside coating. Yeah. Paula Deming, talk about that darkness. <laughs> Ooh, the dark thing I did last night was stay up at, until 2 a.m. I had to walk back to my hotel 
at night in the downpour that suddenly happened. Oh, there I was. was uh. Soaked. My shoes are still wet, so I'm sorry, everyone. And uh, yeah, <laughs> but it, it, I. Oh. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm. I knock my microphone. Control the mic. Control the mic. I I, uh, I can't. I can't. Um, most of my streams are me just going. Oh, sorry, I just knocked the microphone. Um, <laughs> I started playing at midnight last night a, a board game. This was my party. A board game uh, called Turing Machine. It's like a mathematical <gasps> deduction game at midnight. You started that at midnight. Yeah, mm. it was great if you like deduction puzzles. But I'm not going to recommend playing it until 1:30 in the morning because, like, it was. I was like, I, I don't. I, I don't know what the numbers are. <laughs> <laughs> right, the numbers, the numbers. But it was great. Well, that's how Paula parties, everybody. Oh, with mathematical really? deduction I games. Yeah. And, and an animal. And a downpour at 2 a.m. I don't, I don't know that there's any better Cthulhu setting <laughs> than Indianapolis downpouring at 2 a.m. How did you know yeah. where our story is set? Uh, oh. The scene, a <laughs> pouring day in Indianapolis. <laughs> No, that's not quite it. Yeah. Um, well, we're happy you're here. So we're all really hung over, you guys. A lot of us were up late shooting white China heroin. Oh and we're just strung out. We're, uh, you know. Holding it together. Digestively. I, I'm not good. I'll go ahead and tell everybody that right now. We are trapped uh, in a glass box. Wait, oh. I, I do need to tell you I'm doing fine because I hung out with my Mormon friends. And do you know how Mormons party? How? This, they they don't go drinking. They go to a they go to late night gas stations and get their their vice that they're allowed, which is sugar. And you just load up and in sugar and sugar and and um and uh and scratch off. You guys want to slurp? Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> what are we doing? They're great people. people. That's a thrill. The scratch, scratch off. off. Yeah, it, it was scratch thrilling. Off. You win anything? Um, I they weren't. Uh, they did. They won stuff. They it, won. I, I you don't did, gamble. Well, I do. They were their cards, you know. Like yeah. I got to scratch, but it wasn't for me. But uh, I think I think cumulatively, thirty thirty dollars was won. Hey. Okay, after, right on. After spending about sixteen dollars, so. Sure, that's <laughs> great. That's a net profit. That's why scratch offs are always a good idea. What kind of sugary snacks did you have? Oh, good question. We got um, blue bunny cookies and cream, blue bunny mm. monster cookie ice cream. We we got some zebra little debbie donuts <laughs> mm. reese's sticks reese's oh cups <laughs> wow yeah the list muddy muddy chow muddy puppy puppy chow muddy what? puppy muddy chow puppy that's <laughs> not a thing no, the chow? Chow? Mix. Muddy buddy, <laughs> the or some puppy people chow. call puppy chow <laughs> yeah. i know exactly what you're I'm talking like, I about think i, heard I got chow. you so wait you ate all that you. sugar last night how did you scrape yourself off the ceiling this morning uh, oh and chips and queso um uh <laughs> yeah yeah look I don't know. <laughs> Amy Spatula. got so crazy last night, she ate dog food, y'all. No, 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 no. It's a real dessert. It's for kids, arguably, but it's still a real dessert. <laughs> well, um, that sounds fun. That's that's about my speed. Sugary snacks and scratch-offs. Uh, <laughs> but speaking of Scratch thrills, let's it. talk a little bit about Call of Cthulhu. Uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with this game. It is the game of Lovecraftian Horror. Set in the 1920s, uh, at least today's adventure will be, will be in the classic 1920s era. Our players are investigators who must investigate a mystery that may or may not be connected to something supernatural and sanity shattering in its uh, horrific aspect. Uh, everybody has a character sheet. That character sheet has a list of skills. Those skills are rated from 1% to 100%. You roll two. Uh, D100, you know, percentile dice. One is your tens die, one is your ones die. And say your skill is a, let's say a 34, you're trying to roll under a 34. So I just rolled a 74. I rolled way over uh, my skill. But there are things that you can do if you fail. If you, uh, at least in, in the seventh edition of Call of Cthulhu, they've added these rules. If you roll and you fail, you can push the roll, meaning you desperately try harder to succeed at the roll, but if you fail a second time, something bad will happen to you. Something bad will happen. Another thing that you can do to succeed a roll you failed at is use your luck points. And you'll see on your character sheet, each of you have a luck score that has been predetermined by rolling 3d6 and multiplying it times five. You can use up to 10 luck on a roll. That's the rule I have. The game lets you use as much luck as you, you know, you could use like 50 luck on a roll, but I make a rule you can only use up to 10 luck on a roll. So if you missed a roll by 10 or less, you can go, oh, I'm spending my luck to succeed I've always at said it. you're an ungenerous 
GM. I am an ungenerous, ungenerous. a cruel, some cruel. say. Cruel. Yes. Totalitarian, I've need, heard. I, I'll, I'll be as lucky as I want to be. Thank you very much, Jared. Not in my game, you won't. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick sanity. Yes. Okay, no, oh, so that's the Oh, I'm good. I'm 37. That's the basic mechanic. And then thank you for bringing up sanity. You're welcome. So you have a sanity uh, score. That sanity score is, uh, right now it says your total sanity and then your current sanity. They're the same right now. But um, you're going to make sanity rolls, and you're always going to try to roll under your current sanity. Because as that goes down, it gets harder and harder to succeed at sanity rolls. You make a sanity roll when you see something horrific that might shatter your mind, make you go running off into the night screaming. That's what's so cool about this horror game is it makes the players act realistically. They're not just always heroes that pull their gun and like march into the horrific situation. Sometimes they act like people really would when confronted with something horrible they scream and run away or go catatonic or there's a, well there's a whole table right here of what could happen <laughs> to you if you fail your sanity roll and we'll get more into that if if and when we make some sanity rolls but right now i would like to set the scene and talk about our characters okay. so um our uh our adventure is going to take place in the year 1926 in england and um, we are actually in the village of Leicester, which is a darling, quaint village with lots of uh, beautiful little stone cottages and uh, people keep their gardens up. So uh, they have their, their flowers blooming in their gardens and they, they uh, grow vegetables in their gardens. And um, there are uh, cute little old men with big mustaches and knit caps who walk around kind of, you know, working in the village. And uh, everybody looks quaint and hobbit-like and very British. Hi, oh, whimsy. I love it. Hi, whimsy. And it's, it's spring. It's spring in Leicester. Uh, and so uh, the sun is bright and uh, things are, are pleasant in this green and pleasant land of England. However... Here in Leicester, there is a house that has sit, sat abandoned for some time. Some of the windows are boarded over. Uh, and uh, there is a sort of a foreboding mood that sort of emanates from this place. It's not that different from the other houses on the lane. It, uh, it's made of stone. Uh, it, it has two stories as opposed to many of the cottages that have one but uh, it seems that something looks out through its windows at the rest of the community. There is uh, an, Ill, uh, an ill omen over the house. And this, and the title of our adventure today, is The House of Dreams. Uh, I immediately don't like it. Mm. Uh, more whimsy? The House of Dreams. Yes. Now, uh, all of you have come here. <laughs> because you have some connection to this house or its owner. Its owner. F.C. Lewin is the owner's name. And this eccentric Irish-born author has written five beloved children's novels. His books all center around a group of English children who travel to a place called Dreamland, where they encounter fantastical characters <laughs> such as satyrs and talking cats. Is it always winter but never Christmas there? Uh, something like that. <laughs> F.C. Lewin has been missing for 14 months. During that time, his house in Leicester has remained empty. Even stranger, there have been two additional disappearances associated with the house over the last year. And now let's meet each of your investigators and find out how they might be connected to the house. And so we'll start with your investigator, Paula. Who will you be playing today? Hello. Um, I'm Clara St. Clair. Clara St. Clair. Yes. Very good. Um, and I grew up around here uh, in that grand estate that you might uh, have seen once or twice. And perhaps you've, you've gone by the outskirts of our property. I don't know. Um, I actually, uh, my parents were family friends with F.C. Lewin, and it, it's a funny story, but uh, I am the inspiration for one of the children in the novels. Uh, yes, 
Yes, the one named... Not very interesting. No, the one named Claire. <laughs> I know, it's difficult to, to see the connection there. But um, yes, because we were just um, whimsical children growing up. And I think that FC, as we like to call him, um, just was inspired by that quite a bit. Um, I, I, I do. I, now, I, of course, because I'm British, I don't talk about it. But we do have a lot of money. Uh, that's the last you'll hear me say it, though. Um, and I do many things, just anything I want, really. I love hobbies. I collect hobbies. Uh, I, I ride horses. Um, I ski a lot. Um, I love to um, hike mountains, of course, with, you know, people with me, you know, like servants to carry things for me. Um, I garden sometimes. I cook occasionally. I, uh, I've done all sorts of things. So, yes, just anything. That character intro was so good and in character that you, oh, you can have one additional luck. <gasps> Thank you so much. You're so welcome, Miss St. I Saint take Claire. back that you are ungenerous. Ah, I mean, <laughs> I'm giving away literally one point of luck. <laughs> I am such a generous keeper. Um, and so uh, I, I definitely see your connection to the FC Lewin house. And uh, I, uh, I can see why you might be interested in uh, exploring its confines. I played there sometimes as a child. Yes. In fact, perhaps it even stands on the, your parents' property. Oh, it does. Just right on the outskirts? Yes, I think so. Um, yes. yes, because you know, his father was... Yes, I was going to say his father perhaps was a gardener or something. Yes. Um, but yes. That makes total sense. And now I turn to my immediate left to Nora Ibrahim. And who will you be playing? I will be playing uh, private detective Penelope Feathertickle. Uh, private detective Penelope Feathertickle. Very good. Yes. Uh, she is a lady of 32 years. Uh-huh. She, her appearance, she's very tall. Uh, she's very slight. She looks as though she was uh, an actress of the time cosplaying as uh, Sherlock Holmeswood. So she's got the hat. She smokes a pipe. She wears, uh, she wears trousers, which is a big no-no. Well, in these modern 19, in the modern 1920s era, occasionally firebrands like yourself do wear yes. trousers. And her, her love of being a private detective has, has, uh, has developed uh, ever since she was a young Penelope Feathertickle when a circus, a traveling circus came and actually did kidnap me as a child, but I escaped. And ever since then, it made it my life's mission to especially find missing children. She also sounds like she has a series of children's novels written about her. Yes. She's getting captured by circuses and escaping? Yes. Uh, very I've good. inspired many a novel. <laughs> and, and you say she wears the Sherlock Holmes deerstalker cap? Yes, and occasionally she does smoke on her pipe. Oh, she's a big fan of Doyle. What? Uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the writer of the Sherlock Holmes Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh. Go ahead and you may take two luck. <laughs> two luck. I'm rolling it on a die. Oh. It's not, I'm not showing uh, uh, favoritism. Um, yes, and so how do you think you might have become involved in the case? Well, seeing as how the author Lewin uh, has uh, very familiar with my connection to uh, as being a, a literary inspirer of children's novels, we had occasionally met for tea here and there, and, and absolutely, as, as soon as he had gone missing, I, 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 felt, it, I felt it as my duty, you see. My so you're duty. taking this job on no money? Absolutely pro bono. Pro bono, because you are a friend of the author. Yes, and it's, it's a shame for the community to lose such a talented man. Why is it taking you 14 months to look into this? I have a lot to do. Uh, my, it's a, my, it's a full plate. A Perhaps your schedule. friendship had become estranged at some point. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps he uh, dated my sister and I did not approve. Ah, but she's finally begged you. Please, please, Penelope, please find out what happened to yes, my dear Ethel, FC. Yes, you know I do not like it when I see your tears. Very good. Penelope, welcome. And now I turn to my immediate right and... Uh, Tell us, Alicia, who are you playing? All right, I am playing investigator, holiday shoe of the Vermont shoes. Shoe like the pastry, not the thing on your foot. How, how do you spell the pastry? Shoe, it's C-H-O-U-X. Don't be <laughs> oh, a smart right. ass. Oh, 
No, I'm not being a smart ass. I think that you, you, you're, you're stumping me on pastry knowledge. Sorry, what yes. was your first name? So I do not. Holiday. Cook. Holiday. Holiday <laughs> shoe. Of course, holiday shoe. Shoe. Oh, so I became an investigator, not because I wanted to. My family emigrated to Vermont because you're... they wanted to start a clothing company called Shoe Shirt Waist. Mm. Shoe Shirt Waist. Yes. Uh huh. And that company no longer exists. Uh, <laughs> so I decided to come back to Leicester, where they're where they're from. And um, I'm an author. I was a I was I was I also was a librarian for a little while, but. Um, I decided to get into the paranormal because it interested me a little. And um, from there, I wrote a book called, Are You Really Dead Though? <laughs> Are You Really Dead Though? <laughs> it was a bestseller. So I'm self development. In, oh, I've read <laughs> that. <laughs> Even hot, bro. Wait, roll your credit rating and see if it was a bestseller. Yes. So, roll, no, I, wa I want you to roll your credit rating. So. Your credit rating is, your credit rating is forty. So roll the d the percentile dice. Okay. Uh, you know you know what I'm talking about when I say percentile dice. Oh, here they are. Okay, you got them, and uh, see if you can roll under forty. Thirty-nine. Wow. Ooh. Your book sold very well. People really enjoyed. Are you really dead though? I've read that. It was a bestseller. I couldn't put it down. <laughs> it was quite good. Thank you. I was very proud of it. I don't, I don't really know how I got into the paranormal. It just sort of came to me and it, it worked. Um, so now I'm working on my second book and that's where I met FC. Right. It was a writer's sort of convention. <laughs> yes. And he was working on his books for children. Yes. And I suggested a ghost or paranormal book for the kids. Something to read before bedtime. And he said it wasn't <laughs> such a great idea. Yes. <laughs> So, but that's how we became close. Now I don't, he was a terribly tidy and nosy man, but we did get along. How um, dare you? I, <laughs> I think, I think that actually if you suggested a paranormal book to him, he, he, and not to correct you, but I think that he was quite interested in that. He actually found that a, a fascinating idea and talked to you about it for quite a while. Uh, and uh, for that excellent intro, you earned, I can't, am my dice weighted? You earned one extra luck. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. And finally, I will talk to our final investigator. Amy, tell us about who you're playing. Right, I'm Geraldine Spumante, and um, <laughs> uh, I'm a journalist, so I, I just um, I'm, came from the bottom, now we're here. And, uh, uh, you know, a, a bloke who's on her way to become an MP, I think, just um, a member of parliament for the people, and uh, right, right in their faces with all the facts, all the knowledges and all the truths, just getting it out on the paper as fast as I can. Uh, so I, I think I'm interested, um, I, I think I'm interested in this case because uh, people be talking about it and I want to be a headliner, but um, you know, the editors, they, they don't really, they don't like uh, question marks, and so there's a lot of question marks at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, Got to fill them in, uh, fill in the question marks. Yes, that's my job as a journalist. It, absolutely. So, um, but I don't know him personally, uh, but I think I know all of them personally because um, you know their investigations and books and all. I've probably interviewed a few. Okay, excellent. So uh, you're acquainted with our other investigators, right? Right. Um, and. Uh, uh, I'm wondering if there's anything I want to ask you before we start. Um, so I think that you probably uh, are a little bit more interested in the disappearances, right? Right. The first one, Mr. Lewin, and then the other other two that um, shall be revealed in time. <laughs> you, for that, for, for that excellent accent alone, get seven <laughs> extra luck. That's what I rolled oh, for you. All right. Let's be clear. This is definitely a man's Cockney accent because it's really hard to find... Um, no, well, it's hard to do. I, I only do male accents. <laughs> it's very bizarre. I didn't know accents were gendered. Uh, uh, yes, they are. Like Australian, it can be very, very gendered. Go oh, blimey. Yeah. yeah, I guess I see what like, you mean. Do you know what I mean? Well, very luckily, you know, uh, you should have made it easy for yourself like Alicia, who can sometimes just slip back into Vermont accent. <laughs> oh, right. Yep. It was a short time I was there, and, you know, a certain tragedy did befall. Uh, 
members of my family, so it's not a time that I like to recall readily. Right. To understand. Are you speaking of the um, the failure of your family's business, or even worse things? It was a horrible time. Very good. Oh, there, no. there was a fire. That's all I will say for now. That is enough said. And Vermont is a, a, a place featured in many uh, H.P. Lovecraft stories. So perhaps you have a little bit of experience with the supernatural already. I will say we're having a lot of fun here. But <laughs> Call of Cthulhu is a but. very serious game. And three people are missing. And you have all arrived in Leicester. And just to make it more fun and simple, you are all having tea together at a local cafe and you may decide how you would like to investigate together uh, these disappearances and what you would like to find out about. Um, your journalist friend Geraldine Spumanti has the bare facts about the other disappearances. Um, a, um, it seems that, uh, yes, about six months ago the gardener, Harold Peters, the gardener of the, of the Lewin house, Harold Peters, uh, uh, was supposed to go and do some routine maintenance on the home, and uh, he never returned back to his cottage where he lives with his wife. And uh, three weeks ago, that's why this has suddenly um, become so suspicious, a local man, Arnold Whitney, was uh, noticed outside of the house uh, before uh, never being seen again. Uh, Arnold Whitney is a local man who works in textiles, and uh, saw a passing motorist saw him messing around outside the house, walking around on the grounds, and he has not been seen since then. That happened three weeks ago. So those are the facts. And then FC Lewin, people came to call on him. They don't. They weren't not sure how long he'd been missing. No one found him in the house. Everything that he owned is still sitting in there, gathering dust, because there's a chance it's only been 14 months. Maybe he will rematerialize reappear uh so they haven't sold the house yet and they haven't declared him legally dead he is still uh according to the law a living person and so you are city seated at the cafe and you are uh perhaps discussing what your next move will be i made my own um tea once I, just, I was thinking of it as we were drinking it right now. Uh, I, I did my own blend. I didn't grow the tea leaves, but I did source some different ones. And then, and it, oh, sorry, I hit my microphone. And then I, uh, and then I mixed them together, and I, and I brewed them. What'd you name it? I named it. Um, uh, it's just a, a rosy cup of tea. A rosy cup of tea, you say? Yes, it was a rose. It had a rose hip in it. Was, Ooh, was one oh. of the, yes. I I've see. never had this before. I, I wish I still had any. What other, I don't. What, what other herbs did you put in them? Well, really, to be honest, it was a few years ago, so I, I can't really remember, but it was just a fun Name thing Name five. I did. Name five <laughs> of them. All right, well, uh, there was rose hip, there was lavender, there was jasmine. It was quite a mix, and of course, of course, there was Earl Grey <laughs> well, in it as well. well. That's a great herb. And uh, so just a Yorkshire blend as well. You know how they feel about their tea. <laughs> good, that was what? That was the fifth uh, right. herb. Good, good herbs all around. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> no, I'm, I like this. Keep going. <laughs> so what do you ladies know? I know about this. Anything different than oh, what yes, we know course. that's... Well, this Arnold Whitney person seems to not uh, belong to the properties. So I, I, I'm curious to know what this gentleman was doing on the premises if he had no uh, yes. no, no uh, need for employees. Right. Penelope, you're, um, you're local, right? You're nearby. You, ever, you never well, saw Whitney before? I'm local. <laughs> oh, well, right, right. As well. Yes. I, I mean, but, oh, but, oh, sorry, it, of course, but you should answer. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, storyteller, have I ever heard of this Mr. Whitney? I, I think not, but um, as you said, t uh, if you're local, it'd be easy enough to look up his, uh, his home and his family and ask some questions. Yes, perhaps we can see, or, or perhaps even uh, find out what he was intending on, on doing there. Right. Well, uh, that makes sense. Uh, do you know Harry Peter? 
Harry Peter. The what? He's also missing, correct? Right. Yes. The gardener. The gardener. The gardener. He was in the garden. What? Clara. Do, yeah. do you yeah. know? Well, yes. Um, I feel like perhaps I would. Um, this this house is on the edge of my family's property. Yes. So perhaps I would know the gardener who worked that area. Certainly, you can Maybe. certainly go. To, you know that he uh, was married, and you could go to his home and ask his wife. They still live, you know, in the same cottage. You could go and talk oh, to Oh, yes, him. he was married. We could go uh, to their cottage and talk to his wife and find out if there is anything unusual. Oh, I just want to get a lay of the land. Are we all sad about this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tragedy, absolute tragedy, what is happening. Oh, right. well, is it, are, you, uh, are we all, all sad about this? I know. Well, of course there are. They're, they're, they're the missing citizens of our community. Well, yes, that of course. And, and if this I, is I feel like there's no wrong answers. Well, I feel like there's plenty of wrong answers, but I'm, we're going to do it anyway. I mean, perhaps, uh, I don't know, perhaps he, he might have owed money to one of you and been sour about yeah. it, but... All right, I'm just going to say I'm not that sad. I'm more excited, but mm. the sadness isn't here. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're I'm not a cold feeling? heart. I'm not, I don't have a cold heart. Just, you know, what? Uh, a story's a story. I'm, I'm staying on the outside of it. If anyone needs to cry, I'll be a strong shoulder for you. Thank you. If anyone needs Very to put fun. out a fire, I'll be here. <laughs> I, I think we are a good team. I think we are. Do you know? I feel as though there is something amiss here with with being a writer i'm sure he must have been stressed do you think that there is uh maybe perhaps we can ask anybody around town if he was under stress if he had been <gasps> uh, any changes <gasps> in his demeanor oh that's lately? true maybe he had debts did we know if fc had debts at all that he was that he was dude people owed money and stuff maybe he took off on his own we don't know. No. Oh, right. Maybe he's missing of his own accord. I didn't maybe he never even off. thought of that. He might have debts, but if he did, I don't know why he wouldn't go to my father and just ask for some help. They're good, good friends. Well, these are all, I mean, th that is the most likely answer, right? He just had debts and had to disappear for a little while. I mean, surely something like that is what happened to F.C. Lewin. But I feel like we have a couple of ideas for uh, ways that we could look into this. So now I will ask the party to choose one oh. we you you you've said you could ask around about his psychological state you've said that you could talk to um the families or the associates of the two men other than fc who disappeared mm -hmm. so what would you like to do and you could even split up to do these things <gasps> it's call of cthulhu not dnd it's fine to split the party nothing could uh. go wrong <laughs> <Shall we? laughs> Always fun. Well, we can get more. We can cover more ground apart, of course. But as long as we know exactly what we're trying to do here, I think we're fine. Um, I've, uh, just as um, uh, strategy, uh, I think we should go backwards in times to forwards. Or, or no, like more most recent yes. disappearance. We'll have the most information, and then we go backwards, and we'll get. You know, you know, less and less, but we'll be able to connect dots. I think a brilliant idea. That is, I, I, I agree. And I've I've read a few books about being a detective. Yeah, have you read some books? Yes, the yes, first I have. Thing you must do, my dear, is get yourself a, a very sturdy pair of suspenders and a pipe. Oh, uh, that does sound fun. I'll look into it. I'll, I'll have a a servant go and and get some for me. Uh, so we should start with Arnold Whitney then. Arnold Whitney. Correct. So, um, are you going to uh, call on his wife or ask around in the community? Let's go to his wife first. Yes. I mean, if yes. she she could be a suspect if there is a suspect <gasps> we should be worried about complex? in the first place. Um, very well. So uh, you arrive at the small cottage. It's easy enough to find where he lived uh, of uh, Arnold Whitney and his wife uh, Doris uh, Whitney, and. Uh, Doris answers the door. She looks like uh, a middle-aged woman who uh, is understandably uh, pretty sorrowful because it's only three weeks ago that her husband disappeared. So uh, she's not quite as, uh, as some of you might notice as 
uh, society types, that she's not quite as put together as, you know, uh, she, she, she might be for appearances. Um, as we were walking here, would it work? I would like to have picked some wildflowers and just like thrown them together in a in a bouquet. I took a class once and and putting together, I have lots of free time, um, and putting together bouquets. And I'd like to just bring her, uh, just some flowers to try and like soften the experience a little. How how fanciful of you? Mm -hmm. Um, Thank absolutely. You. I'm a dilettante. <laughs> uh, I'm going to allow you to do that without any sort of role. You've uh, you've gathered a, a bunch of uh, beautiful wildflowers along the road, and you arrive at her cottage, and she opens the door, and she says, Yes? <laughs> oh, my dear. Oh, how are you? I hope you're doing all right here. Have some flowers. Oh. Are you Mrs. Thank Doris you. Whitney? Uh, that's me, yes. Ladies? So, so sorry to hear about your husband's disappearance. Oh, yes. Well, some might say I'm better off without him, huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> who would say that? <laughs> it's a well, come in, come in, don't stand out on the stoop. Right, well, uh, let it's me... late, but are you in need of tea? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I never say no to tea. Very well, I have a pot. Thank you. She pours some tea for you. So we just sort of sit around and, and place ourselves comfortably on your sofas. Mm. <laughs> yes, her Davenports. Um, this <laughs> is a small, humble household. And uh, you are a little cramped in her mm -hmm. parlor, in her sitting area, as you all sit around uh, sipping tea from her cracked china. What a lovely sitting room. Oh, right, Doris, oh, I, I, love, I love the art of, uh, it looks like just your portrait uh, of you. No husband to be seen, uh, as if he never existed, eh? Right above the mantle, just you. Well, um, he and I, uh, well, yes, I, listen, I, I can't really um, join some sort of women's group. I, I don't have the time for it. I have to figure out you know, how to pay for things and... Uh, Without my husband, uh, things have become a bit tighter, so I can't join some sort of suffragette uh, oh, situation. Oh. oh, we're totally not there on this account. Um, as we said, oh, Mrs. Yeah. Whitley, we are totally gutted by what has occurred and the fact that your husband is missing, but we're, here, we're actually here to check on things and to make sure you're okay and to find out how your relationship with your husband was. We actually want to help. Well, if you must know, Arnold was a drunk. Oh, yes. He's oh, no. Yes. No. He spent more nights at the White Line ta Tavern than he spent here at home doing his husband's business. Oh, what a barbarian. And um, he was out of my life before he was even out of my life. Oh, dear. They say that that's what happened the night he disappeared. He was drunk again. Right. And he never said that where God. he was going? Or he, did he tell you he was going to the tavern, or did you just assume that he was there? All I know is what the co constable told me. He left the white line late at night, and a passing motorist saw him on the grounds of the Lewin estate. Oh, terrible. Do you remember the name of the constable that you spoke to? Oh. Um, yes. Constable Burroughs. Constable Burroughs. Oh. Um, did Arthur, excuse me, dear me, did Arnold um, know Mr. Lewin at all? Was there any reason that you know of for him to be? No, he wouldn't have known Mr. Lewin, no, no. Do you think he was just um, relieving himself in a glorious patch of flowers? That's the kind of thing he was known for, ma'am. Oh. look around and see if there's anything that feels wrong here or anything that might show if here's what I want. Is there anything just sitting about that might show if Arnold was dabbling in business he shouldn't, whether that is like gambling debts or something more paranormally sinister, I suppose. But Yeah, absolutely. Um what skill will you use? Well, it seems like a spot hidden, but I tell you what, I'm not very, uh, I'm, it may not go well. 
Um, but yeah, it's probably a spot hidden. What is your spot hidden skill? Oh, it's 25%. If it 25%. doesn't work, if it doesn't work, I could just be, what, what, what is it, as they're chatting, what is it that you're doing? It's very rude. I uh, just want to know if, if he was up to anything. Don't you think we should be seem like maybe he brought whatever happened upon himself? Will you help me look around? Yes. Wonderful. Excellent. Um, <laughs> Just in case that doesn't thank work, you. I'll do it. No problem. Um, I think you can take a bonus die for Wonderful. your spot hidden because you have the help of your investigator friend. Um, and you know, a bonus die means you roll your tens die twice and take the better result. <laughs> that was very needed. I rolled a 21 under 25, so it's a regular success. Excellent. Now, if we were in campaign mode, I would tell you to sh check that skill. Um, no. So and it might get better say. later, but you did an excellent job. So um, you and your friend, uh, Penelope, uh, you are kind of looking around while Geraldine and Holiday are speaking to uh, Miss Whitney, mm -hmm. and you find something that does not belong in this working class house. Mm. This is, uh, it's just sort of interesting that they would have a book lying out on the, uh, uh, interpreting your dreams. Look, Clara. A guide to your dreams and what they mean. And it looks like, it doesn't look like a respectable publication. It looks like something that it was sold out of a, a low-end shop or by, uh, you know, the type of person who might also sell you a, a remedy for your baldness. Could I look through it and see if there's anything circled? No oh, good thing. Yes. Um, no. Yes, you may. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you, without any sort of role, that someone has put a bookmark into the section just entitled houses. And basically the whole book is just like bears, dogs, teeth. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, whatever symbol is in your dream, it has a little entry on that. And reading a tiny bit. Uh, well, Penelope, you're a private investigator. You're not sure about the quality of the writing, actually. <laughs> All right. Yes, it's, it's not, not, uh, not very academic, as one would say, but... Uh, what would it, what does it say under houses? What does, what does it mean to dream of a house? Um, uh, you know, it's all the obvious stuff. It's like, uh, if to dream of a house is to dream of a home. Perhaps you are seeking a home or perhaps you are concerned about your home. Perhaps there's been trouble at home. Maybe you're a homebody. Clearly whoever wrote this was, uh, grasping at straws. Well, now I would like to check the inside of the front cover to see if there was a name, to see who it first belonged to if it didn't belong to this uh, Mr. Whitney. Um, no one has signed the inside of the front cover. Like I said, this is almost a, more of a pulp pamphlet than it is a book. Well, Clara. Ew. Has perhaps he's been dream dreaming of houses? Now, do we know that... Uh, it, do we know that there, this house is... Um, Mr. Lewin's house. Do we know that it's been that there that there's creepy vibes to it, or is this? No, that was just in my intro. very atmospheric <laughs> intro. Ah, I see. How strange that that somebody is dreaming of houses. It's very strange. I've never dreamed of a house. Excuse me. Oh Ooh. yes. Hello. Oh yes. Are you looking through my things? Ah. Uh, I have read this book. I can't believe you also have it. It's so well written. Oh, that was Arnold. You can have it if you want. Oh. Look, I have to start making dinner, so. Uh, right, uh, one yes. final question, or, or from me at least. Um, are you sad about this? <laughs> no. <gasps> oh. If I have to be honest, I don't feel much of anything. Good day, ladies. Oh, but she, before I go, I, I do have something for you. That's all right. And how lady's going to reach into her bag. And this is a copy of my book. <laughs> I've also signed it right on the inside for you. It might help in your grief. Are you really dead, though? <laughs> it's a bestseller. Oh. I know your type. Now I know what you're up to. Out of the house. I'm not interested. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm not a spiritualist, all right? I'm Anglican. Out. Out. <laughs> uh, good day, ma'am. Good, good day. Uh, right. 
No, no, like, don't don't Thank take you any book. mention. Your book is so good. You, it's so good. It helped me through. And also, you, you didn't even you didn't you didn't have to defend it to her. But your mention of God and how and how it's not a real thing is so good in there. But you know, you. the Anglican is going to be what the Anglican is going to be. Thank you. I'm hoping my next book does just as well. But we'll see. Ladies, did you hear or see anything interesting upstairs in that hot? Why, yes, we did. Yes. We found a book on dream interpretation, and there was a bookmark in it, and it was marked houses under houses. A book on houses? And it seemed as though the book didn't actually belong to Mr. Whitney. So we've deduced that he's been dreaming about houses. What Have kind of dreams? We don't know, but maybe something where he goes, oh yes, this dream means I'm a homebody. Or maybe something where he goes, oh no, I'm worried about my home. Oh no, I'm missing my home. Oh, I'm homesick. Could be something like that. Well, we learned some stuff too. We learned that um, Doris um, never found his birthmark across his belly, all that attractive. And she, oh, it, it didn't really have any bearing on his missing, but she's, she's arguably uh, the next partner that she wants is um, maybe, maybe, maybe the belly is is a little more, um, I don't know, different than his belly. Very yes. useful. Yes, and she's not sad. The most important question that <laughs> right. Geraldine was always indifferent. asks. <laughs> right. Well, we do have a few leads. We could. Uh, Seek out the, uh, the the tavern, the White yes. Lane Tavern, the he White was, the White Lion, the White Lion Tavern, Lion. Uh, and and see if he had any companions to see what he might have actually been Do up to like that evening. Perhaps he was getting drunk and talking about these dreams. Exactly. Right. And it does not seem like he tells anything to his wife. Right. Well. And we could also seek out Constable Burrows. Oh yes. To see if we have any more information on that night. If Constable Barrows hasn't disappeared himself. I don't like, I don't like cops. Right. All right. Maybe we could spit. We yes. can talk to Constable Barrows. Sure. And you could go visit the tavern. Right. Okay. That makes me feel so much better. Right Wait, well, excuse me. Why don't you like the cops? Have you, have you gotten into some trouble? No, I'm a journalist and they don't like, they don't like me. So I don't like them. You know, I'm um, around. I want, you're always want trying to point out who's dirty. Uh, oh yes, I am. I actually am. That yeah. is my main. That is my main journalistic job. That's why they sent me out here to Leicester because in London I was making waves. Oh, you were. Yeah, I was stirring things up. You're not. You're not afraid to <gasps> write you? what you know and what you're interested in, and they don't like someone who does that. They want to shut us up, and that's why we're here, and that's why we exist. And that's why we're we here. must solve this mystery. And we're not yes, really we dead yet. <laughs> All right. Um, it sounds like this party is splitting. Uh, it, uh, are Geraldine and Holiday going to the White Lion Tavern or yeah. somewhere else? Yeah. Okay. Right, right. Uh, so let, let's cut to that. Um, you uh, go through the door of the White Lion Tavern. It's not quite late yet. It's not quite even maybe uh, what you'd call happy hour yet. It's early. Uh, uh, but there is a man behind the bar. Um, he's a beefy man. Uh, red, ruddy complexion. Uh, bald head. Uh, and he says, Afternoon, ladies. Well, we're not used to uh, sort of being in an establishment like this at this time of day. We are ladies, however, but... Um, well, you're welcome, and we have things other than ale, you know. Right. We'll take tea. <laughs> tea? With a little splash of something harder, you know. A little light for tea, but nice. okay. All right, we'll could do without the judgment. <laughs> uh, just, to, just to review, these characters have had tea already twice today. <laughs> I asked for a splash That's of something hard. That's why harder. we're so high strung. At, la- at this point, the caffeine is kicking in. Um, we need <laughs> the energy. Have you <laughs> been to England? This bartender doesn't know that. <laughs> yes. He can easily set you up with some tea. Oh, it's... <laughs> All right. I shall sip it. All right, thanks. It's nice. Now. So, is this establishment full of people right now? or uh, it No, it's a pretty deserted, actually. Um, there might be, like, one customer over in the corner uh, sipping, like, a beet soup oh, right. with a pint beside it. Why don't you hook us up with some of that there beef beet soup? <laughs> some be- I would like some beefy beety soup. <laughs> How special. Sure, why not if it's special? Carol, two beet soups. All right. I'm gonna try. I would like. I would like to flirt, flirt a, li- a little bit with him. Very good. All right. Yeah. 
So, so what brings you two ladies into the white line? Turns out your white line sucks. <laughs> This is me flirting. This is. I'm sorry. No, it. it uh, I'm. I'm yeah. You're negging him. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't mean it like that. She meant it. Geraldine read the game. <laughs> okay. This is no, no. This is just Geraldine. This is how she flirts. All right. All right. Look, it's fine. I guess it's about it's about what I'd expect from a town like this. But here we find ourselves, and I and I feel like I've got to make the most of it. You're 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 probably the best thing in this place. Yeah. Well. Yeah, well, listen, miss. A lot of people find the white line to be quite a fine establishment, actually. And if I'm honest, I'm probably the most shabby thing in this place. Well, that's not the way it looks to me. So what? You are quite a, a temperamental filly, aren't you? <laughs> you could say so. I switched over to Australian there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm right there really with you. Fun? I'm about there. <laughs> Look, what is it exactly you want? Because I can tell you have some sort of agenda. Yeah, I think we've got an agenda. We're looking for a real piece of work. Oh, uh, Arnold, Arnold, on. Yeah, somebody. Whitney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wrote it down. Yeah, Whitney. All right. He disappeared. And he was, but he was here right before he disappeared, wasn't he? Mm. Yeah, that's right. The night that he, um, well, no one's seen him since the night he came in here. And, uh, yeah, he got a bit boffo, uh, as he was wont to do. He had a lot of pints. He stumbled out, but he normally had no trouble finding his way home to Doris. How should I say, expect that he'd... Well, he'd fall in a ditch somewhere or whatever happened to him. Oh, God. Well, I mean, we wouldn't have found him in a ditch if he'd fallen in a ditch. No, well, he went He went straight missing. And the thing is, you're a bartender. And I know for a fact that, that your job isn't necessarily making drinks. It's more about uh, people management, a uh, bit of a therapist, yes. a, to a talky talk person. So what was on this man's mind? What was he talking about as he got into his cups? What was he saying? Where was he going? I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm no therapist. I don't talk to people about their problems. I just pour the pints, okay? I, I don't really remember. I don't really remember. I, don't I, I like I told Constable Burroughs, I don't really remember. You, it looks like you've got a locked up, tight, smart, intelligent mind to be working in a shit hole like this. <laughs> It looks like you're trying to charm him into... Uh, what yeah. action are you using, actually? Yeah. You know, you could also use, because uh, of your strategy, intimidate or and some other skill that you think. I, I, I think this is definitely my version of flirting. Um, it's intense, but, you know, you only flirt in a way that you know when it's worked before. So. Yeah. It plays hard to get. Um, yeah, it's like aggressive. It's aggressive negging which also includes compliments. So, all right, let's see. Um, it's a social interaction skill, so you can choose between <laughs> so charm, intimidate, fast talk, or... Oh, charm. Oh, well, I like me I like me some charm. I have that. I'm a 50 at charm. Oh, Ooh. you should try that. Perfect, then. do it. <laughs> all right, yeah, it's a little toxic, but um, <laughs> when else do I get to be? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, do it, do it. Uh, 32, under 50. Ooh. Success. Success. Uh, Ha, woman like you walks into my tavern. <laughs> can you even? I'm a lucky man. Can, oh, all right. <laughs> don't don't get nostalgic on me or anything. Tell you what, come by after closing time. You and I take a little walk. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna walk. Yeah, I mean, just down the lane and back. And then what? And then you're gonna answer my questions. I'll answer your question right now. Oh. I've been doing this a long time. Some people drink too much. Starts to affect their mind a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I've seen a great change in Whitney right before he went missing. He started, started raving about dreams. And the weirdest thing was he was talking about the Lewin disappearance. So he knew. He said he was dreaming about the house. The house. Again with the Said house. he couldn't get it out of his head. I told him, quiet down, relax, don't get so worked up. But he just kept drinking, got a far off look in his eye and walked out the door without paying his tab and he was never seen again. 
How angry with you that he didn't pay his tab? Mm. Just asking. Well, I was, you know, as you might imagine, I was pretty angry. How much is his tab? You're not saying I had something to do with his disappearance, are you? Oh, not at all. We wouldn't suggest anything other than this might be a place of ill repute. <gasps> but other than that, how much was his tab? Wow, uh, I didn't know. I could go into the records if you want. <laughs> Take. He tells this. you exactly to the to the decimal point what what his tab was. And I pay it. Oh wow. Okay. And can I count on seeing you later? Absolutely, positively. You're exactly my type. <laughs> well, I look forward to it then. All right. If I'm not dead. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Geraldine, indeed. Did you have to flirt with him? I didn't know your techniques were like that. I admire it, but it's also disgusting. But I love you for it at the same time. <laughs> uh, 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 we, we love a five-star review. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, excellent. And so you've learned that the man that one of the men that disappeared was dreaming about the house, which would corroborate the book about dreams that was in his home. And so now I turn to our other two investigators who were going to go visit Constable Burroughs, right? Yes. Well, the small station that um, that is in charge of the village is uh, easy enough to find. And um, you uh, find a uh, somewhat a taciturn looking man with a big brown mustache. He's, uh, he's a bit thin. He looks to be in his late 30s, uh, sitting uh, and using his spectacles to look over some sort of piece of paper uh, at his desk. Good day, private investigator Penelope Feathertickle here to see a Mr. Co a Constable Burroughs, if you please. You found Constable Burroughs. You said your name was Feathertickle? Yes. <laughs> private detective Penelope Feathertickle. Some sort of pseudonym? Excuse me. Never mind. What can I do for you? And, oh, hello, Constable. You know me, of oh, course. Oh, Miss St. Clair. Miss St. Clair, yeah. Lovely to mm -hmm. see you again. Oh, thank you. How why, are you today? Why have I been honored with this visit? Well, uh, because we are here investigating. A investigating, are you? Disappearing. Another one of your hobbies, Miss St. Clair. This one is going to stick. She's done quite well so far. Thank you. Oh, really? Do you think so? Yes, absolutely. Oh, Miss St. Clair, you're so sure you... Have you been to oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. sure you trust <laughs> this private detective? With my life. Hasn't asked you to... Um, Sir. Pay I her you. yet? No. No. This is pro bono. Yes. I'll have you know, and that means free. I am a professional. Uh, very good. Um... What can I do for you, ladies? Well, we were wondering if you could tell us the whereabouts of uh, this Mr. Arnold Whitley and what he was doing on the last night that other that, that he has been seen about the town. Oh, uh, yeah, well, it's all free information. It's all been reported. Uh, last seen in the White Line Tavern, uh, approximately 11.30 p.m. Uh, then, well, that wasn't the last appearance. That's where he left from, and then... Passing motorist, uh, Stanley Powell, saw him on the grounds of the Lewin estate, oh, after midnight, say shortly after midnight, and we haven't been able to locate Whitney since then, but we do know that Whitney had a problem with alcohol. Yes. 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 And that <laughs> I know from experience that people that have problems with alcohol sometimes, I mean, quite frankly, do fall off the face of the earth. He wasn't happy in his marriage. Well, we are not here to judge. We are here to find out what has happened and what is happening in this town. Yes, because if this was just Arnold going missing, I think then we could say, oh, yes, it's probably because of the drink. But it's but much more than just Mr. Yes. Whitney. The gardener, much yeah. More. You're talking about the gardener. And FC. That is a stumper. Um, yeah, the gardener. Well, I mean, you know... Um, some people came in from Birmingham and looked into, looked into all of this. I mean, it helped me, assisted me, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't know where Peters went, and neither did they. Well, but what, what? When was the strange last case? He was seen. How did how did they discover he was missing? You don't mind telling me? Uh, father says hello, by the way. And you can give my regards to your father. Um, 
Uh, Harold Peters, he, he was the gardener there. He went yes. by to do some routine maintenance, even though Mr. Lewin was gone. The house needs a little upkeep. I believe he was going to, you know, uh, take out the winter windows and things of that nature. He, um, he went out of his house at 7 a.m. to go and complete that work, and he never came home. This is a man in his late 60s. So, yeah, it's a bit of a puzzle. And no one saw him after he left at 7 a.m. And, and went to the house. No, but uh, the village isn't quite bustling at that time. It's very likely that he could have traveled a short distance to the Lewin house without being spotted. Sure. Strange, yeah. strange case, that. Strange case. It's and he kind strange. of looks off uh, into space for a second. Can I? Well, will that be all, ladies? Uh, no. no. Could I do a psychology roll on to see, like... If I notice that expression, if he's hiding something? You know what? You don't even need a psychology roll because you noticed it, and uh, I'll allow it. Okay. So, um, what do you want to ask him? Constable Burrows, hmm. I know that you, this must be a great time of stress for all of us and for you. As a private investigator, I am just here to help. There is no need to to have to carry such a burden such as this all alone what burden what are you talking about well this 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 whole situation starting with mr lewin and then and then these other disappearances surely i i know that you must feel that that is a reflection on on your job as a constable of this town and i changed my mind i do want a psychology role from you okay. mm. <laughs> Rolled a 52 under 60. Excellent. Okay. So you see that uh, it's not, uh, you're saying he's got a lot of pressure on him or something like that. Yes. That's not the problem. He said that it was a strange case and then he looked kind of confused and fearful for a second. Something about the word strange case sort of uh, resonate with you. Mm. Constable Burroughs. I know that you must have seen many a thing in, in your line of work over the years, but is there anything that was, ve that was very much out of the ordinary in this one? I mean, it's, it's probably nothing, but there were hoof prints around the house. Hoof prints? Yes, and no one nearby keeps sheep or cattle. Uh, you know, a lot of that land is on the other side of town. But likely a sheep just got loose and we haven't been able to find the owner or the sheep yet. It looked uh, like it just was... one. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, no, please, go ahead. Oh, thank you. I was going to try my hand at a question. You're doing wonderful. Oh, my goodness, thank you yes. so much. Was it just, did it look like the hoof prints of just one sheep or cow? Well... Please, what was the size of the hoof? If I'm honest, ladies... Please be honest. It looked like two hoofs. Do you Ooh. mean like like a bipedal situation? I thought it was standing upright. That's mad. All right, it's all in the report. So um, oh, may we may we read it, please? I don't think so. No. Um, look, I never said anything to you about hooves. Okay. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, what hooves? I didn't hear anybody. What, what hooves? Did you you know, I, I hold my position by hooves. the grace of the community, and I, I can't go around ranting about hooved well, creatures. Yes, yes, there is something. Don't worry, we will keep it just between us. And we not. You know, my, my father, who is a, a highly respected member of this community, speaks nothing but glowing praise of you, and I'm sure he will continue right. to do so, even if you allow us to read this report very well you'll see i understand miss st Clair. let me go find it and he goes and finds the file and he hands it to you oh thank you lovely job oh, thank you so much You're that was doing so, so well. well thank you i hope he didn't think i was blackmailing him oh no why would you ever i would no, never. why would oh. he think that i mean i just <laughs> meant he will continue to speak oh i see now well, it's not time to. I will read the report. Uh, and you do uh, on your way to perhaps meet back up with Great. the other investigators. And I can tell you that it is exactly as he said. Um, but uh, the gardener uh, went out at 7 a.m., never came home. Several days later when they went to look for the gardener, they found in the mud, because it was a muddy day, 
hoof prints. The hoof prints, uh, there is a photo of them. I take a photo of it. Okay, you take a photo of the photo? Yes. Uh, <laughs> sure, you, 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 uh, the hoof prints do look like two hoof prints. Like, they look like if you were walking, but may, you know, your mind boggles. Maybe oh, someone put some kind of hoof attachment onto their boots or... Uh, somehow someone made two hoof prints and you can see they're just in like a, they took a couple photos they're just in a couple spots of mud very close to the house do you know what this reminds me of in the books that FC wrote there are fantastical beings centaurs satyrs these hoof prints make, make me kind of think of a satyr do you think there was satyr? Well, I don't know of course not I don't know but that's what it makes me think of Perhaps that's what inspired him. Maybe this was someone trying to pay tribute to the books or something. And By wearing hooved boots? Uh, perhaps. I don't know. It might be a silly thing to do. I wonder if there ever is, exists such a thing as hooved boots. Perhaps we can get them made and see how they track the same way. That sounds very scientific. A little bit convoluted. Yes. But maybe scientific. And so now you all meet up, I think. Um, I've decided. And you meet up at, you meet up at the inn okay. uh, where Geraldine is probably staying, where uh, probably Penelope is probably staying as well. Uh, Holiday, I don't know where you're staying. Uh, and we know that Clara St. Clair has her own very large there. house. Oh, yes, I um, do. But you meet up to uh, compare notes. And can I assume that everybody has told everybody what they've found? Yes. Okay. yes. So uh, you've shared information. Uh, you've also watched each other have scenes. And uh, now you know everything everybody else knows. What would you like your next, uh, your next move to be? Well, there was that Stanley Powell. Yes. Um, oh, and of course, the hoof prints won't exist anymore in the, in the mud. But I sort of want to go to the house and look around. Oh, but oh, could I, before we go... Um, do you mind telling us a little? I haven't read the books. Do you know? And you, you are an inspiration of the I books. Was. So maybe you could describe um, the plot of at least one of them. Yes. It seems as though they're. I mean, we, it, it'd be remiss for us to think that they're not connected. That's a brilliant idea. Yes. Thank From start you to so finish, much. please. I will. Is that all right? And Absolutely. Who are the voices? Can I tell you about all five of the books? Yes, you uh, can. And you can uh, assume that Claire St. Clair is relaying this information. There are to you. five books. Uh, FC has written five beloved children's novels The Flying Ship from 1906, The Moon Kittens, written in 1910, The Sinister Satyr. 1915, The Sea King, 1918, and The World in the Web, 1921. The World in the Web, Claire, you remember as being quite scary and uh, featuring uh, very large spiders as the antagonist of the poor Stevenson children. Oh, this, and it was very scary. I had nightmares for months after. Oh, and oh. now I've just remembered that that must be why I was thinking of the satyr, because the oh, one that was named right. a- after it. There was the sinister satyr, yes, the flying ship, the moon kittens, the sinister satyr, the sea king, the sea king, and the world in the web. In the now, web. is it safe to say that these get progressively spookier? That is very safe to say. All of this talk about books, Holiday, perhaps yes. allows you to roll a uh, art writing. Oh, uh, two D tens. You got them. Okay. Seventy-eight. Oh, it's over my. 70. It's over. It's over your seventy. Yes. Would you like to spend ten luck or eight? Yes, luck? I would. Spend eight luck. Subtract eight luck from your total. Uh, and it, uh, you realize that you would love to talk to FC's editor. You're sure <laughs> that he has an editor, and his editor might know something. His uh, his literary, you know, business partners would probably know something about him. So, so, so perhaps, ladies, we should talk to him. I mean, remind me also not to have any more of that what beet soup ever again. The aftertaste is terrible. No, it just makes you burp. It was worse. But perhaps we should talk to uh, Mr. Lewin's editor because he would know more about where FC was going with his books. Perhaps that might give us more information as to where or what he was studying and getting himself 
into. Yes, and yes. perhaps his, even, even his state of mind. Exactly. Uh, what was lucky about your role? I think that what was lucky was that there in the inn, on a little bookshelf by the fire, they had one of the books. Oh. Uh, and it, uh, it, it, you know, it's the 1920s, so they weren't quite into paperbacks as much yet. It's a beautiful leather bound with a little kind of embossed picture. Uh, th this particular one is the uh, second one, the moon kittens. So a little embossed, gold embossed image of a, of a little kitten in front of a crescent moon and opening up the book, Holiday, you found edited by Robert Cooper, London. Um, oh, look at this. And you definitely have contact information or you could look into contacting this Robert Cooper if you'd okay, like. Perfect, I'd like to do that. Okay, um, it's kind of late at night. Would you like to call him late at night or would you like to continue your investigation in the morning? You could go see the house now, late at night, when all Ladies. the... Yes. And Isn't everything is very dark. Do? Or you could call, or you could try to call Robert Cooper's offices late at night. It's up to you. I think you, um, I've got to go somewhere real quick. Um, so, <laughs> so I think I've got to just bow out for, uh, I don't know, two hours. What? Oh, wait a minute. What? We're not going to date. Okay, ladies, <laughs> she left, we left something out about this little tavern experience of ours. Geraldine did set us up with a little tay to tay based tonight. We're not letting her go. Unless you we, can't unless go you... on a date now, you're going to have beef yes. burps. Yes, it's such oh, a good guy. Oh, I, I guarantee you, this man will Maybe not. Maybe he's into that. Will not care. Um, um look, I, I'd be, yeah, I'll be honest. I don't want to, but uh, who'd I be if I didn't go on yeah, this this adorable date? You know, like this man was. He put himself out there. You know, you gotta give him the time of day, right? Well, well maybe only if you I want to. Right, I can't, well, okay, well, I wasn't being honest, I kind of do, but, uh, but I see where we're going, and it's not, it's, it might be a step backwards. So, I don't know, which side are you on? It seems like you don't want me to go, but you do want me to go. You know, you're going on a walk, you could take him with you. I'm like, we could, we could hide in the shadows. Guys, yes. what if, what if this Venn diagram actually overlapped, and we did a walk with, a d here's the thing, I never got his name. Oh God! It was Thomas, or was it Christopher? It might have been. Uh, bl How did we blanket? forget his name? <laughs> it might have been blanket. Well, you can go. You can go walk by the tavern, and he'll he'll uh, he'll come I on. I think out. it's on the Seriously. way. This is why I like name tags. Oh yes. Uh, all right, but yeah, I I, I, I won't. Uh, well, it's gonna happen. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Yes. Maybe let's walk let's be pick him the up. House. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, it's you again. Oh, and you've. Oh, hello. Yeah, You've brought your friends. friends. Um, yes. Chaperones. Chaperones. Yes, ah. indeed. We must be proper. Well, it's uh, it's good to meet you. Tony. Hello, Tony. Tony Roberts. Tony <laughs> Roberts. Robbins. Not Robbins, Roberts. <laughs> Tony Roberts. <laughs> and, oh, all right. and I never get your name. I'm Geraldine. Ah, oh, beautiful name. Thanks, I know. Yeah, I know you now. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right, fine then. All right, fine then. Well, should we walk then or should we not? Well, it seems like we already are walking, so it looks like we're walking. This is a fascinating Fine experience. with me. Let's walk. A strange I'm day. barely into this walk, but I'm doing it. Well, I'm so happy your friends are here, so uh, we can all take a nice walk in the moonlight. What way should we walk? Perhaps I know a lovely place right on the edge of my family's property. It is the old Lewin House. Sounds romantic. It sounds so oh, romantic. Oh, I see. Yeah. You all want me to show you around the Lewin House for a little spooky good time. I no, we want, you to, we, 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 to, we want you to stay a little bit out of it. Uh, hey, can I be honest with you? I kind of like your jib. Right. But, I like yours. Well, we so have, what? So we have a plan. And you were, our little thing was about to stand in the way of it. And this is just our way around it not standing in the way. She likes you. I'll come with you. <laughs> you don't need to show us anything, though. We can handle ourselves. All right. Sounds good. Also, I grew up playing in this household. So I can show everyone else around. We don't need you for that. Yeah, we want you. All right, ladies, let's just <laughs> walk, well, shall we? Said so aggressively. <laughs> we don't need you. We want you. <laughs> yeah, Geraldine's not. Subtle. We're making Jared regret all. No, this. no. I'm, uh, Tony's just thinking. 
oh, these ladies are getting bolder and bolder every year. <laughs> Shall we kill him? And, I'm just kidding. And damn, but I find that exciting. <laughs> Uh, and so uh, soon you find yourself standing uh, beside a, uh, a kind of out of control hedgerow. You know, it hasn't, yeah. the, the gardener's gone, so it hasn't really been kept up. And so the hedges around the house have gone wild and gotten very high and are stretching out into the lane. Uh, and you see the two story stone house uh, kind of standing there in the moonlight, uh, its windows like black eyes looking down at you. Now remember, keep an eye on the floors to see if there's any weird hoof prints. Oh, yes. Right, on the All grounds right. or in the inside? I'll oh, I never everywhere. considered my Everywhere. Yes. Yeah, yeah, why not be on the lookout for everything? Yes. Uh, well, it's probably locked up, so you can't even go in, ladies. Well, not legally, what? but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do saying? have some locksmith <laughs> uh, points here. I have always wanted to learn how to pick a lock. Well, I could show you. I As I look that. now, it's not that high, but I could attempt it. Would you <laughs> no, like to? Geez. The door is firmly, the, the big oak door is firmly locked. Yeah, I, I will try it. Okay. Although uh, I'm not very confident now looking at what the actual score what is. What is your score? 21. 21? Yeah. Okay. Something. No, I rolled a 72. That's not going to happen with me unless somebody else... Uh, I, I, did. Well, I mean. In fact, you succeed with a consequence, which oh. I am allowed to do as your keeper. Yes, you, um, you kind of force your way in and break the entire door. Um, it is very <laughs> obvious that someone broke into this house. Uh, and it would require quite a bit of locksmithing skill to fix the door. Uh, and Tony goes, oh, what are you trying to do? Get us all... What? Rounded up by Constable Burroughs. Oh no, he's fine. He's and as you fine. see, as as uh, Penelope is trying to like sh uh, shove her, shul her shoulder <laughs> into the door to break it open. Oh, it's broken it's, open. It's already, you come stumbling into the house. Yes, that's what happens. She just stumbles in. <laughs> okay. Watch you, your step. <laughs> you uh, you have done that. You uh, you're in uh, the house. Um, well, I wanna I wanna look on the outside, like. All right, I want to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to kind of uh, circle around the outside. Is anybody going with Geraldine to do that? I think I should accompany Geraldine. Okay, very good. Uh, Holiday and Geraldine yes. ke keeping their, uh, their twosome, their alliance there. And you guys go around, um, sort of circle the house. There is a back door. <gasps> Holiday, there's a back door. There's and a back there door is. In the house. <laughs> I'm not even done. Wait, a, you're going to get really excited. Um, there is a, a, a garden, a, a fine British garden, but very overgrown and unkempt, uh, where there's a lot of roots and things just kind of going mad behind the house. Uh, and then uh, there's, you know, some grass and then um, some big, dark trees uh, beyond that. <gasps> Oh no, we, I see them. Well, it's, we they're mainly, mainly dark because it's dark out. It's the middle of the night. And I they're get blocking scared the of mood. whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> Should we look in these bushes and things or go right in the house in the back door? There's got to be a basement. There's always interesting things in the basement. But first, the hedges. Uh, the, definitely the hedges and the trees and the darkness. Should we check them? You know we should. <laughs> Let's look in the hedges. We have spot hidden. Yeah, all so right. We both, to we be both found, have we spot hidden. <laughs> you're looking around. You're looking around out here, right? You're looking yeah, around, around carefully, and um, like the two sides of the table are such different vibes. <laughs> 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 like complimenting each other and being generally delightful, and bonding wow. over darkness. You mentioned spot hidden, so give me a spot hidden roll. Oh, but two, by the both. way, make it extreme. <gasps> oh, how do oh. I do that? Uh, so one. on your sheet. It'll show no. that one fifth no, of your total extreme. spot hidden skill is uh, is an extreme roll. For example, no. I have up uh, I have Holiday here. Holiday's spot hidden is forty five, but to make it extreme, she has to roll under nine. Oh my gosh! Okay, I have to roll under twelve. Yeah. You can <gasps> do it. Are yeah, you serious? So. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> nineteen, nineteen. So oh, so, so luck not, can help you. Yes, yes. 62. Like I, what? What is it? Sixty two. Okay. Yeah. The rolls are getting me today. <laughs> so I'm freaking out because it's possible, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do the luck or whatever, right? Yeah, do luck if you spend. Uh, what is it? Nineteen. I, oh, I need, I need twelve. So I could just, sorry, I need to hit 
sorry, is it meet or under 12? Yes, meet or under. Meet or under. Okay, so I, I just need to subtract seven. And I still have many luck. I still have oh. 57 luck. Um, a- excellent. So uh, my friend, my friend enough. Geraldine, <laughs> um, you are looking through the garden and the hedgerows and everything. And you, uh, the lucky part is that you trip. You trip really hard Ooh. on like an old root. Oh. Uh, and um, you come all the way down. All the day. To uh, onto the ground, you fall down on the ground on your face, on your, on your stomach, and um, you just suddenly realize, and you wouldn't have realized this otherwise, that th- this this part of ground is just a little bit of a bump to it. <gasps> oh, get off the ground, Geraldine! We don't wait, have time for this. Wait, what? Put your cheek where my cheek is. All right, and Holiday puts <laughs> her cheek right where Geraldine's cheek is. Do you feel it? It's a lump. Oh, we'll actually lay your whole body on it, and I'm you'll going feel. To vomit because I taste that beet soup. It's co- yeah, yeah, we're right next to each other. We're breathing right on top of each other. Sorry. All right. Okay. What What am I doing? Oh, you do you feel the lump underneath us, the the slightly raised ground? It's. I do. She sits up. What is this? We got. Well, let's find out. What's her date what doing it? at this time? Oh, I think I think I he's know. obsessed with the the door, right? Or I think he's lock? yeah. I think he's like trying to put the door back together. Like, <laughs> oh god, we're gonna have spend a night in jail. <laughs> Let me see. I could go back and get some tools. Where did Geraldine go? <laughs> Just find the boat. <laughs> you hear him. You, he, he, he comes <laughs> around the side of the house. Oi, Geraldine. Well, I'm not. We're not li- We're lying on the ground, but it's not not what it looks like. It's a little odd. This ground, don't Ch- you think? Yeah, do you want to get on the ground and feel the lump? Um, and he kind of goes down there and he's like, yeah, someone's been digging up this garden a while ago. A while ago? Yeah, look, I mean, looks like it happened a while ago. It's not fresh soil. I want to dig it up. Can we dig it? Where can we find a shovel? Now we're going to dig in the middle of the night. This garden. One of us is, or maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, but not five, it seems like. You're crazy. Let's do it. <laughs> this is the best Shall I go thing. get some shovels and things? Yes. You, it's that kind of a date. Yeah, go get the shovel. Yeah, it is that kind of a date. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Tony, Tony uh, if I may put it this way, Tony fucks off to go get the shovels. Okay. <laughs> Um, so meanwhile, in the house, um, <laughs> you are in, a, a, you know, it's, it's not it's not a great mansion. Uh, this man lived pretty humbly on the uh, on the uh, St. Clair estate. And so um, you're already in the sort of the little parlor um, and it's quite dusty. Um, and uh, you uh, see that there, uh, you know, you can go out into a corridor where there are stairs going up to the second floor. Uh, that corridor ostensibly leads to other rooms on the first floor. Oh, dear. Yes. She, like, <laughs> checks the dust. It is quite unkept in here. Yes, in the parlor there are couches, a coffee mm-hmm. table, and a curio cabinet. Ooh, I would like to go look in the curio cabinet because um, I think... So curious. It's so curious, and I think I remember a lot of these little statues, perhaps, from when I would play around it here occasionally as a child, and, and it's a nice memory. And, you know, I haven't seen F.C. Lewin in, in so long, and... I think I just like to like look, and for a moment I'll just look wistfully at them, you know, thinking about being a child and inspiring great literary work, and then yes, I do know. Perhaps I'll see something there. Yes, uh, in fact, looking in the cabinet, you see all kinds of little curios behind the glass. It's very dark in here. Do you want to turn on the lights? <laughs> um, or did you bring something? Oh, by the way, your character's inventory sheets are empty, so. Uh, you can have anything that you think it would be likely for you to bring with you. Okay. If I think it's unlikely, I'll make you roll credit rating to see if you actually brought it. So how are we dealing with light in the house? Uh, wouldn't we see if there's a, perhaps a candle that's been left? If we can light. Yes, there candle. is a candle there. Very good, Penelope. And so uh, in the flickering light of the can- candle, you can now see into the curio cabinet and you see like a little uh, uh, ceramic naked satyr boy mm-hmm. on a pan flute oh. yes. dancing beside yes, some flowers. I this one. <laughs> yes, uh, and uh, there's also like little Hummel like children who are like opening a door in a hill. Uh, and all sorts of little uh, figurines like that. Um, uh, 
are you using any particular skill to kind of inventory the uh, well, contents of this cabinet? Well, I do have um, art and crafts and sculpture specifically. I don't know that curios are the same as sculpture. For this, but. for the, for our intents and purposes here, they are. Would well, you like I, to roll that? Yes, I would love to. Do you do you have something? While, while Clara is doing that, I would like to do a spot hidden to see if there's anything that's been misplaced, and you could see by the the inconsistencies in the dust circles of the rings of where they stand. Okay, uh, you may roll spot hidden for that. Okay. Um, I would like to push this roll that I rolled a ninety one on. All right, pushing it means that you try harder, and yes. it means you try. Uh, how are you trying harder to uh, figure out the contents of this well, curio cabinet? Uh, yes, I will say. Oh, may I see that candle for just a moment? And I'll. Oh yes. Take the candle, and I'll. Um, is it like a china cabinet that like has a little door that can like open? Exactly. So I'll open the door and I'll stick the candle basically in there to give me more light, so I can see better. Okay. Does that, um, does that work? Is that enough of a push? Yes, except that something maybe happens. Oh no, something's oh, no. fire, fire bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh no. So um, what happens is uh, you um, you get in and you see something right before the candle. Sort of you jostled it too much yeah. and it falls to the ground and goes out. And the thing oh, you no. saw right before the candle goes out is a large green stone in the shape of a star with a Ooh. weird fiery eye in the center of the star. And then the lights go out. <gasps> oh dear, oh no, I'm so sorry. How did your spot hidden roll go before uh, your friend uh, put out the lights on you, Penelope? Uh, I rolled an 81 over 70, so I'm gonna spend some luck. Okay. Actually, that's too much. I only allow 10 luck to be spent and you are 11 over. <gasps> Okay. Uh, probably you weren't able to find anything because your friend suddenly shut off all the lights on you. Sorry. Oh. Are you all right? Uh, yes, I think so. Were you frightened? Yes, I was. I saw something strange when I dropped the candle. What did you see? It was a green star with an eye. Have I seen anything like this at all? Is there <laughs> anything like this in the, in the books, in the drawings, or is this a brand new thing? Um, you would have to remember that. Um, give me a hard intelligence roll. I'm not very intelligent. All right, so this needs to be 25 or better. Eight. <gasps> oh. Holy crap. Um, these do feature uh, in one of the books uh, in The Sea in King. The, oh, in The Sea King. The Sea King, King gives the, these as uh, charms to... Uh, fight uh, the evil sea creatures in the, in the book The Sea King. Oh. Uh, the Stevenson children wear them around their necks like amulets to protect them. Oh, silly me. It's not scary at all. These are actually, uh, it is a protection symbol based on the books, which I did read, you know, um, because I inspired them. We should relight this candle. All right. Uh, do There's someone in the room with you. What? What? There's someone in the room with you. Is it Tony? Tony? <laughs> I, who is it? Who's there? You just... And have that so. feeling you have when you're in a room and you know there's someone else there. Mm-hmm. It's completely dark. It's. I say, announce yourself immediately. Can I try and get, relight the candle in some way? The steps, uh, the creaking boards are no. moving. No. Would you like to try to relight the yes, candle? Yes, I would. All right, give me a dexterity roll. Can I spend luck on, on this? Yes, you may. Uh, I rolled an 89, but my dex is 80, so I'll spend nine points. Okay, on it. great. <gasps> okay, so it's 50. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll do math. Okay, so then that's just a, a regular success, an 80 out of 80 on my deck. So I get, I get the candle and I, and, I, and, I, and I light it and I, and I hold it up to see. And you see a man uh, wearing rags with like fingerless gloves and uh, blood is pouring out of the center of his chest. Uh, and he looks at you like this and then the candle flickers for a second. It goes out again. Uh, <laughs> no. Make sanity rolls. Oh, no, 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 no. Do I have to roll over or on? Un- you want to roll there. under initially. I rolled a seven. You rolled a seven, so you did very well. Yes. I rolled a 12. A 12. You both did very well. You take no sanity loss. Meanwhile, outside, <gasps> while that was happening, I'm going to go ahead, if it's okay with you, cut to the fact that Tony is digging. Digging, yeah. Uh, okay. That was all happening while Tony was digging. Fantastic. Uh, go, go, Tony, go. Go, Tony. 
Hi. Yeah. What's this? Would you find something? Ladies, what do we think is going to be down here? Uh, well, uh, something. Oh, God. <laughs> don't look. Don't look. No, we what? are. Get out of the way. Move out <laughs> of the way. I push him out of the way. Can you give me that shovel for a second, Tony? I just want to look at it. And, and then get the out shovel. of the way. She wants to knock him out completely. What? You want to knock out Tony? <gasps> yes. Why? Because he knows too much. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> well, did it already happen? No, you... It hasn't happened yet. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, whoa, see whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like this. I'll take the shovel. What? Holiday. Holiday. Yes. Hey, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh, he's so... He's... Yes, we don't want him to talk, right? He's still useful. You didn't see anything you saw here. Tell us what you see now, and then you never saw it again. Okay, I he looks down. He looks down, and he has a lantern with him now too. And he uh, puts it over the hole, and you can look down into the hole. Would you like me to do the honors, Geraldine? Uh, let's look at the same time. <laughs> All right. One, <laughs> two, peekaboo. <laughs> Partially unearthed. Uh, is the rib cage and skull of a human skeleton. There are still some rags hanging off of it as well. But it's completely decomposed. Does it look like it's wearing fingerless gloves? Completely decomposed. Okay, this is highly irregular. No, I know. That's a person. Um, uh, 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 we got to find out who that is. Do you recognize him? Dirty, take him out now. Pull him out I, to the hole. Of course I don't recognize him. I don't recognize a skeleton. I'm not <laughs> touching it. Yeah, you are. We have to go get Constable Burroughs. No, we don't. Tony, get down Don't there. you hit me with that. Give me that shovel back. <gasps> give me that shovel, I Tony. And you give it to me, Geraldine. Give me the shovel. Everybody, give me the... Give me, Geraldine, give me the shovel. <laughs> Fine, Tony. I just want... Just it's do, my shovel. I know. You brought it. <laughs> give it to me. Why do you no, bring I'm, a shovel on a date anyway? I brought all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. We gotta go talk to Constable Burroughs. That is one thing you're not gonna do. Why not? Because we, he's gonna he's gonna cease and desist us, and we've still got things to find out. We've, we've got things to do. We we really we need to f figure out this mystery. I don't, I don't know, like Geraldine. Cops. I don't like cops. I'm gonna Tony. need some sort of skill roll to convince <laughs> <Yeah>. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is what. Oh. Uh, oh charm? I do have charm. I definitely have charm. You want to try yeah. charm? Yeah, I'll yeah. try to charm. Okay. You What's your team. approach? What are you telling him? All right, Tony, we're not... Uh, I hate cops. You know, I already told you I hate cops. And 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 the state's over if we get if we get constable. It's and she's over. she's done time inside, Everything. you know. She knows it's rough. We'll, we'll never go on another walk again. All right, I hate that cunt anyway. Well, wait, you yeah, haven't actually, succeeded yet. Yeah, actually, let's see. All right. Um, 85. <laughs> Out of 50. <laughs> oh. You know, I hate that cunt, but I still have to report to him. Right now, um, though, he's asleep. Right now. Right now? We just found a dead body, Geraldine. You're leaving. Oh, okay. You can ask your questions the once shovel? the police investigate. <laughs> no, do you and he starts you uh, walking back down the uh, lane. Okay, I'll grab a shovel, give it to uh, my, my compatriot. Oh, Mr. Thomas. What's his name again? Tiny? Tony. Tony, I have a question Tony for you. Robert. <laughs> Tony Robert. Tony Robert. A question for you before you Tony. go. Yeah? And as you turn, she the poop. Okay, so um, uh, I love this. I love this uh, yeah, This was this always turn. going to happen. I never thought this. I didn't think it would, but it, and it did. Um, just to see how well this goes, give me a fighting role. <laughs> Fighting. Let's see. For our author, it is not very high. It is fighting. a 25%. Mm, give you what? What's that? I don't have anything in fighting. No. Yeah, you you have 25% because that's where fighting starts. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh. 12? That's a 12. 12, hell Smack. yeah. Smack! <laughs> <laughs> uh, shovel hits uh, Tony in the head and he... Uh, because this is a fictional story where this kind of things happen, these kind of things happen, he sways and falls unconscious in the lane. Should we put him in the hole and cover it up or what? <laughs> no, no, because he's not dead. And, and, uh, but uh, no. Okay. The, that's, right. I'll You're just right. Say, the short right. answer is no. But let's drag him to the back of the house so he doesn't inspire any, any onlookers. 
you're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, we'll leave him here, right? No, dr I said drag him to the back of the house. Well, are we at the back? Yeah, we'll drag him behind. Drag him to a place where he yeah. won't. Uh, he was walking out to walk oh, down the lane, so you can drag him to a, a place where he'd be more hidden. Yeah, we'll hide him a bit. We'll hide him somewhere. But okay. not in the hole. Okay, you're right. We won't do that. I never thought of doing that in the first place. I can't believe I have this shovel in my hand. What am I doing with it? Do you it? believe that your character screamed when you saw that I apparition? I wondered if perhaps... You, if, if, no, that's okay. Yes. No, I did have a, a moment actually in the middle of this where I thought, and then you hear me scream. And I thought, no, don't interrupt. So, you know what? You read my mind. Yes, I think I did scream. Um, you guys hear a scream from inside <gasps> the house. What's going down? That's some, that sounds like somebody. Claire, I think. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Take the back the door is locked. Do you want to run around to the front of the house? Yeah. Yeah. Because the yeah. back door is locked, right? Right. We don't have time to to knock down a door or or, or, or pick let's it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay. You run back door. around to the front of the house, and I'm just checking something. Oh no! Oh, no. Don't check anything. Okay. Uh, you run back around to the front of the house, and the door is uh, wide open, and you see flickering candlelight beyond. <gasps> Fire. Claire. Claire. Oh, we're in here. But. Come quickly! We heard you scream. See what I saw? I saw. I saw. Where are you? Was, Stop! Are you okay? Yes. Y yes. There was. There was. There was this. This. This creature. This man. A and man. In rags. Rags. And there was. A, there was a wound. Wait, fingerless gloves. We found a. Yes. We found a skeleton with rags in the in the backyard. Did it have fingerless gloves? Yes. We didn't get. It did. Yes. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> oh no. Do you think it was him? <laughs> I, I don't know what I saw. It Do must think... be. Do you think ghosts are real? Because ghosts? I feel like we just saw one. Oh, well, he was right in front of us. I would like and to take... Ooh, did not the... announce himself at all. The green star out of the cabinet. In... What? Was it in my pocket? Uh, <gasps> very good. Oh. Make a power roll for Oh, me. no. <laughs> Why did you give me something you knew I was going to want to touch? I don't think that's going to work. It's an 84 and my, no, 84. I failed. Um, oh, those, those look like double zeros. You grab the star, you. which is a prop from one of his stories. And uh, it's weighty. Um, it looks like it's made out of some kind of real stone. It's not something someone made out of clay for him. It's not ceramic. I just, I don't know. They kept them saying, you know, my, just make me feel safer. This, this kept, just, I don't have to explain myself to any of you. And I put it in my pocket. She found a stone that was... <laughs> did, you, did you say that it was part of the book? I think I did. And when I yes. found it, I think I told you yes. Yes. There was a little stone with a symbol from one of the books. I believe it was a Sato one, wasn't it? It was, a, it was a star and a fire eye, an eye and fire, a green star eye. Do you what? Think that he, that, do you think that he had this made or that it was made prior to the book? Does it look yeah. old or does it look new? I, mean, I think it's just like a something a fan maybe made him. He was like, look at this thing I made. It's from the maybe You actually, I did you succeed at a sculpture roll? Uh, I pushed and then you just said I saw it, but I didn't roll again. Um, because you can roll. You can roll again, yeah. Not with those dice. <laughs> Perhaps he was thinking of future merchandising. <laughs> um, I will spend six luck points to make that a regular success. Um, very good. Um, this was, uh, this, uh, because you know a little bit about working stone and things like that from mm -hmm. sculpture, this yes. was made maybe prior to the books, and it is, um, it's a weird object. It, uh, it definitely, like I said, wasn't made to kind of simulate something in his book. It probably predates him writing about it. Do you know if you've been in this house before? Yes, I grew, I, I grew up running around through here. So what is this that he has here? Have you seen it before? Well, have I noticed it before? You have not. I've never noticed it before, but it is old, I think. I don't think it would have come after the book. So I think perhaps he had it and then it inspired him. You to all hear footsteps book. upstairs. Wait, are we, still in the, are we still in the dark? You're, uh, we, a candle yeah, has been lit again. Okay. Uh, you all hear footsteps upstairs. But you've been in this house. Is there a library um, in this household? I, well, it, there's an author. Did everybody so. hear? I just said you heard footsteps upstairs. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're scared. We're trying to ignore yeah. it. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I, 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 it's not there. Um, I, does, it sound like, does it sound like footsteps or ho hoofs? In, in fact, oh, interesting. Ah. Make hoofs listen steps. rolls. Oh. All of us? <laughs> yeah, sure. 
I rolled a 67. Wait, what's a listen? Oh, yeah. What's failed. a listen roll? Um, th that that is one of your skills. Ah, but not one of mine. Oh. <laughs> 23. Oh. A six. Ooh. Oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, actually super appropriate because you're the one that asked the question. <laughs> There's a clicking, clacking nature to the uh, footprints, the footsteps upstairs. Oh, I don't think it's just footsteps. I think it's um, hoof steps or tap shoes. <gasps> or heels. <laughs> like that kind of noise. Oh. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Listen. Click, clack. Maybe we leave here yeah. and tomorrow we go visit the editor, but I, I am... I am freaked out. I don't have absolutely my... not. We're going up the stairs right, right now. I don't ladies. have my storeroom. Everybody, calm down as she holds up a, uh, her thirty-two automatic. Oh my Yay. god! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Everyone, calm down. Now, whatever this is, it's terrifying. Yes, but, but we will see what it is. No. I... Yes, it's probably not what you think it is. It's probably fine. It's probably yes. fine. Where's it's Tony? definitely not Tony. Oh. We buried him in the backyard, almost, what? not quite. He's laying on top of the ground, but, but oh, yeah, yes, he's still he, alive. He's still alive. Mm. It's fine. He was about to go get the the copper. Yes, so it's all good. Oh, well, that's all right. I've bribed him. Um, but the, the scary things are happening right now. So what? What are if uh, what, uh, if if you all insist, then I guess we're going upstairs. But I would like to be put on the record that I don't want to. All right, but we must. Go carefully and leave. Just be brave. Okay. You're doing so well. Thank you so much. I just, I've discovered that I really look up to you. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you. Wait oh, a minute. So, oh, oh, ladies. Okay, you told us before that there was hoof prints somewhere in the house that you were told, right? Yes. Do you think that thing is still here but upstairs? <gasps> what do you mean by a thing? The two-legged sheep, you mean? What would make two hoof prints? Oh, two -legged. A two-legged Alternate title for the adventure... The two-legged sheep. <laughs> two-legged <laughs> sheep. All right. Oh, I mean, it could. No. I think. I think. Okay. So here's what happened last time. You screamed at the creature or whatever it was. It was a ghost. It was a ghost. It was and a this ghost. time, let's be ready to attack it. Right. She's so good at attacking things. But let's. <laughs> she's trying to say, Josie and I, I'm not at all. And she sort of like drops her shovel to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, pick it back up. It's your weapon of choice now. I'll take it back. Thank you. The sounds have stopped. You guys have been discussing whether or not to go upstairs for so long. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, let's do let's it. It didn't come down to us, so that's... This might be our chance, though. That's no. positive. Let's still yes. go. Let's still yes. go. All yes. right. This might be our chance. Are you going no. to the second floor? Yes, yes. Who's leading? You know the house. Lead the way. Oh, Gunslinger. no. Gunslinger. I'm the one who didn't even want to. All right. <laughs> I also have a... I have a... Um, uh, 30 caliber carbine. Oh, um, did you bring your full rifle with oh, you it's tonight? it's a rifle, isn't it? I was like, well, I just have it. So it's just, you know, I just have it. I think Ooh, what if? if you roll, you, what, <laughs> I yeah. know. Okay, how, how about this? There is a gun cabinet in this house, and I know how to shoot the rifle that is in it. Roll so. your luck. Under your current luck. That's good. 20, and I have 38 luck points left. Yes, uh, so Miss St. Clair goes to the gun cabinet here on the first floor uh, and grabs out a... Oh, it's the exact rifle you use, a 30 carbine. This is, this is the one I actually learned on. You know how to work that properly, yes? Yes, sir? I do. Is I everybody going upstairs? All right. Yes. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 um, you're fine. Uh, everybody's going upstairs? Mm -hmm. Are yes. you going quietly, or are you just marching up? Oh, I'm quietly. going quietly. As quietly as possible. Yes. Very quietly. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. Um, let's have everybody roll stealth, and if more people do it successfully than poorly, oh, I'll say all of you did it successfully. I rolled a 39 under 40. 35. 29 under 40. Oh, good, because I rolled a 76 over 20. <laughs> but it sounds like most of you were quite quiet, and it won't. Uh, Miss St. Clair is being a little louder, but not enough I'm to going, really... This way, this way, follow me, I know the way, too loudly. And because um, you were so quiet uh, on a, on reaching the landing, do you have the do you have the candle in your hand, or just is someone carrying the candle? Oh, I'm unarmed, so I can carry it. Oh, perfect. Uh, Very good. Upon reaching the upstairs landing, you do hear one final kind of creak coming from uh, you knowing the house. Know yes. that one end of the top floor is the guest bedrooms mm. and F. C. Lewin's bedroom, mm. former bedroom. And the other side is the library and the office. Oh, yes. 
Oh, they um, and you hear one final creak coming from the direction of the bedrooms. <gasps> Who goes there? Oh, we were supposed to be quiet. It's coming from the bedrooms. <gasps> we got no response. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Should we go in the direction we heard the noise? Yes. All right. All right. Oh, Who's goodness. leading? Yes, I am leading still. <laughs> you are Miss Sinclair. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then Penelope behind her. Yes, you're doing fine. And then Thank me you. behind with the candle. Yes. And then Holiday with the shovel. Yes. It's a Holiday with the shovel in the rear. Okay. Um, <laughs> so um, you come to um, the side of the house that has two guest bedrooms and F.C. Lewin's uh, bedroom. Um, so there are three doors here. Um, the two guest bedrooms are on the left side. They are smaller than mm -hmm. the master bedroom on the opposite side. Uh, and the doors are, um, there are doors, but they are open. They are not oh, shut or right. locked or anything. Right. All right. Which one should we try first? Let's do FC's room first. Yes. Perfect. All right. Okay. We'll find out more about the man than we ever wanted to know, but all right. <laughs> all right. So um, you uh, <laughs> creak open the door to FC's bedroom, and in there you can see a uh, bed, nightstand, wardrobe, reading chair, framed prints on the wall, and a set of steps, kind of an odd layout to the house, but this is how the house is laid out, steps leading up to an attic. <gasps> oh my. Oh. Uh, is the door to the attic open or just stairs? You can't up? tell from here. It looks like you'd have to kind of walk all the way in and walk up. All right. What? Uh, I, I do just want to snoop around a little bit. We can learn a little bit about this man. Well, uh, what if we do that? We might be taken by surprise by the creature. So we might want to come on. Creature? Or what? Uh, I thought uh, you said it was just someone in tap shoes. I said, okay, th shoes? there are so. It's like an infinite possibility of what it could be, but it's just not a person in regular shoes. All right. That's true. It could be a creature in tap shoes. It could be a creature in tap shoes, also just a bipedal creature, or a man in tap shoes, and then many other things. All but right. I uh, Makes perfect sense. I try real I'm hard following. to make that like make me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can we explore just a little later and like open up doors first and All right. just just last. Look around. Yeah, just make sure just that blow we, open the door we cover with the gun. Our sixes. It's a very yeah. sensible of you. Yeah. Oh, we could blow up doors with guns. <laughs> no, that's the complete opposite of sensible. Yes. Right. right so but perhaps if we have time later and you. I okay. can do that as well. Wonderful. So you want to leave the room, stay in the same sort of marching order, and open the other uh, bedroom? Yes, we'll do a quick sweep of the area. Yes, yeah. a sweep. Yes, a sweep quick, yeah. and then I, I definitely want to check out those stairway ladies. I want to look at the print, yes. yes. All right, so um, the, um, the farthest guest bedroom, the one on the end of the hall, you <laughs> open that, and uh, inside you see a bed, a nightstand, a wardrobe, and an old trunk. No, <gasps> trunk. What's in the trunk? Oh, oh God. All right. Mark that in your mind. We'll come back to the trunk next room. Is it? And there's no one else. There's no. There's no nothing. There's no. No, no, no one's no, in no, there. No. Got, got it. Level. You can't we must touch be. everything. Yes. Do you have Any? a guest bedroom? Yes. 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 <laughs> you throw open the door and you see a bed, a nightstand, a wardrobe, and a vanity table. All right. God, where did it go? So it's up here. It hasn't had a chance to leave. If it's in here, it's in here somewhere. Or maybe it's in the attic. Maybe it is. Yes. Or it's in that trunk oh. in the other room. Or it's in the vanity table. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Um. The two-legged sheep in the vanity <laughs> table. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's... Uh, let's go, go to the attic. Open the trunk. Oh, the trunk, right. Oh, should let's, we... Let's rummage. 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 And then upstairs, just in case there's something useful. Oh, I like that. We might find a, a better weapon. That's so right. Some we... upgraded armor. Are you looking in the trunk in the uh, farthest guest bedroom? Blow it open. <laughs> Just kidding. Yes. Okay. The trunk does not appear to be locked. Who's opening it? I'll open it. Everyone, everyone looked at me. I'll do it. Uh, you open it. And inside the trunk, you find heavy winter coats. Yes. This makes sense. Scarves and yes. gloves. All right. Um, you find a lot. You find, like, almost... Seven sets of that kind of oh, wow. clothing. That's a lot of winter clothing. But is it all look like it's the size of F.C. Lewin? <laughs> it does. Okay, oh, great. Oh, it's just his winter clothes. It smells like oh, mothballs. Oh, God, those are like four seasons ago. Oh, yes. 
All right, well, I'll shut to that and... Uh... I want to look at the vanity table. Very good. Um, so there are little drawers on it. And then there's a big mirror, of course. Uh, all right. Um, does the mirror... Uh, I want a rifle. Uh, rifling through. Um, he was a confirmed bachelor, and you find uh, no real makeup or anything. It's intended for perhaps if he had a lady guest. Um, mm. So um, there's just a bare minimum of maybe uh, washcloths and things like, um, uh, what do you call, linen mm. that a guest might use. Um, uh, and uh, give me a power roll while looking in the mirror. Oh, <laughs> oh my. 70, so 38 out of 70. 38 out of 70. Um, the door uh, leading uh, back into his bedroom is open and it's reflecting in this <gasps> mirror. And for a second, you think you see a shape. A more shape! Uh, what? <laughs> the figure. What? I saw a figure. Where? What Where does it look like? In the, in the, in the primary bedroom. Oh. All right, everyone. Keep your wits about you. It's gone now. Let's go now. Before it has a chance to get away. Oh, uh, oh. oh do we, does it, is it still there or does it disappear? You just saw a shadow flicker for a moment in go the mirror. Mystical. No, no, it's not, it's not there anymore. Oh, oh, just perhaps flickered. Our, perhaps our minds are playing tricks on us. No, no, it really was there. I mean, maybe, no, it was there. Did it oh, appear no. spiritual in nature or was it, you know, of body? Was it, hum was it physical or was it... Oh, I love your brain. Are, are you are, are you really dead? That are you really dead? Though. Are you really <laughs> dead though? Are you really dead though? No. Yes, though. Uh, it looked a bit more like a shadow, so it could be anything. Shadow. But it was in the master bedroom. All right. Oh. All right, everyone. <sighs> Careful now. Be brave. Yes, the master yes. bedroom because those stairs looked ominous. I yes. don't know if you could shoot a shadow, but I shall attempt to if necessary. Do it. Yes. I'll lock that. All right, you're going to into the attic stairs. Mm -hmm. Going to the attic stairs. Yes. On the way to the attic stairs, as we walk by them in the bedroom, can I just take a quick look at what the prints are? Yeah, that are absolutely. On the wall? Um, these are prints, so they're like um, you know ink printings, uh, kind of common in the Victorian era that people would buy. One depicts um, children in a meadow dancing with a capering satyr. <gasps> This illustration being in the books. Yes. I think that one's meant to be me. Um, the other prints have uh, images that similarly connect to his books, mm. such as a uh, Poseidon or Triton type figure rising up out of the sea mm. um, and uh, sailing ships, mm. uh, and even one that is a anatomic, anatomical rather illustration of a spider. Oh. oh no. Should we take them off the wall? Why not? You take them off the wall, and you are looking at the nails that he hung them on the wall with. <laughs> <laughs> right, then. All right. All right. Interesting. Fine. Um, this is, sorry, this is just a strange whim. Can I take the one with the spider and take it out of the frame? And you certainly look at the can. back of it? You certainly can, and you I don't see, know, I just feel compelled. Yeah, you see the artists would stamp... Uh, and um, this is a London house that um, does uh, wildlife and uh, naturalism prints. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm on a so I'm unarmed and I'm and I feel like we're gonna encounter <laughs> like encounter something soon. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. take the nails out of the walls and put them like Wolverine style. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, <laughs> that is the best That's Call of Cthulhu weapon solution I've ever heard of. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> Makeshift dollar Wolverine. What was Geraldine's life like on the streets of London? <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was a rough one. Um, you have the nails ready. Okay. Can I just quickly take a peek inside that wardrobe before? You can. Um, there are a lot of old clothes and suits and things like that. Right then. <laughs> uh, yes, we, we we scream in horror anyway because they're four seasons out of style. <laughs> a bunch of moths. Yes, yes, yes. No. <laughs> um, you can roll a spot hidden. Oh right. Hmm. I rolled a seventeen hmm. under seventy, so a hard success, but not an extreme success. It was cold when you opened the wardrobe. Oh, that's odd. What's odd? And I fling it open and. Whoosh. You push the. Are you pushing the clothes aside? Yes. 
there is a uh, sigil of glowing symbols oh. pulsating on the inside of the wardrobe. Oh! And as you look at it, and everybody, it seems, is looking at it, um, the symbols seem to move oh, and no. flow around no. each other. Everybody can make a sanity roll. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't trust my rolls. Oh. <gasps> I rolled over my sanity. I also did. Uh-oh. I go, oh, that's so strange. It reminds me of something in the books, and I'm fine. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. 20. 20? 20. <laughs> 20. Uh, it, that sounds like a success. <laughs> Who rolled over? I did. Penelope I did. and Geraldine. Mm-hmm. Penelope, you take one sanity oh, da- loss. Please er- erase one you. sanity from your total. And Geraldine, you take... Sorry, that was like on a corner. Yeah. You take two sanity loss All from right. seeing this thing, and the sigil moves and flows like uh, it, it, the back of the wardrobe is made of liquid, and the symbols are floating on the pool what of a vast, this? dark ocean. And that is where we are going to take a short break. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the continuation and climax of our Call of Cthulhu adventure, The House of Dreams, here on the Glass Cannon. It's Gen Con 2022. See you in a minute. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back to the Glass Cannon coverage from the floor of Gen Con 2022. You have just arrived when we are playing part two of our Call of Cthulhu adventure with Amy Vorpal, Alicia Marie, Nora Ibrahim, and Paula Deming. Yay! We are doing perfect unimpeachably perfect English accents today <laughs> here on the glass cannon. <laughs> I'm sure that chat is lighting up with British people going, are they all from my section of the United Sorry. Kingdom? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> did, did they work with vocal trainers? Uh, yes, no. And was yes, their vocal trainer Dick Van Dyke? <laughs> yes, he was. The truth is we're all American. I know, it's shocking. Uh, but our story is set in Leicester, England, a small village in uh, the center of uh, the green and pleasant land, England, in the year 1926. And our four investigators have just discovered, I'm not gonna do the whole recap because, come on, you had to have just been watching the last part. Our four investigators have just discovered a strange sigil on the back of a wardrobe in the home of children's author F.C. Lewin. And so you have all uh, looked upon this strange, undulating, glowing sigil on the back of the wardrobe and uh, it has sent shivers down your spine. It is clearly something that should not be what do you do what is that i i, I don't know i don't know i feel either. like it's a headline in another language don't touch it don't if, don't if you're it. reaching your hand out i'll oh. grab your wrist don't touch it how it's- long how long am i insane for um so you only lost mm. how many two you are not insane. Oh, I'm not insane. You're not insane. So if you lose... I'm just mesmerized. Great time to ask a question. You're not even mesmerized if you don't want to be. Oh. You, your sanity has gone down a little bit. Okay. You are shocked and scared. Uh, uh, but uh. unless you lose five or more in a turn, you don't go completely mad. Okay. Okay? And even to. then, there's a chance you don't go completely mad. <laughs> okay, okay. Copy All right? that. Copy that. Uh, so, yes, um, your uh, belief in reality has been slightly chipped away at, but you are still in control of your actions. All right. I'm not going to touch it. Don't worry. All right. Maybe we could poke it with a coat hanger or something. What? Why do I want to touch it at all? It's moving. It, no, no, it's moving. This is really close, strange. Um, put the clothes back over it. Uh, okay, you put the clothes back <laughs> over it, and once you have done that, it's you can't see the sigil anymore. Uh, even the glow seems to have uh, gone down, and uh, you are in a quiet, dark house on a little English lane with a thing that has hooves and a glowing sigil behind a wardrobe. Clara, do you recognize any of these um, uh, uh, si- uh, sigils? Do I recognize From any the- of these sigils? Are they, are they used perhaps in the books at all? Um, there, you don't remember anything like No, that. I don't. I've never seen anything like this before. Before we reopen it again, should we discuss what we're going to do with it when we reopen it again? Because we're definitely going to do that. 
You all want to come upstairs. You all want to open the wardrobe. You all want to move the curtains. I just wanted to go home so we could go talk to an editor tomorrow. Uh, what, what, wait, wait, wait. You mentioned a draft before. Um, a, a, yes. What Do you think the sigils um, created the, the coolness or the chill, or do you think there's something behind it? Well, that's why I wanted to poke it with a hanger. It's, all poke right, it. well, go ahead. I want that as well. I move the hanger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there, there it is, shining at you with its evil wan green light. Oh. And I, I remove a hanger that, and then shake off the coat and stab at it. As you stab at it, the hanger goes deep into the liquid type uh, surface of the sigil and you feel like you could let go if you want, Penelope. <gasps> it's gone. Um, oh. but, there, but, but your fingers are cold. Oh. Like they've been outside on a cold day. Dreadfully cold in there. What? Is what? It? It what do you feel? It somewhere. It's a portal? Um, oh. I just... No, this is, look, what? right books don't come true. All right, things that are in the books that FC wrote are not real, other than me. Wait, was I don't of the we, character. Wait, wait, I have a question. Do you, do, was this a real thing? Was there, was there a passageway into another dimension in one of his books? Yeah. In all of his in books. In all of his books. They always travel to a place called Dreamland. <gasps> and it's in Dreamland. In all of the books? In all of the books. Is Dreamland now? We should shove your boyfriend through there. Well, we I'm sorry. There. One yeah. more, one more missing person, eh? No problem there. <laughs> we can go see where they are if he survives. Feeling if very bad for Tony right now. Right. You are. It's, you, he's, so he's just, I, you don't have to, but I feel bad for him. <laughs> are you sad, Jared? <laughs> Does that make you? The answer is yes. <laughs> Look, remember, didn't we all want to go up into the attic? I, I oh, want to go. Wow. Uh, I feel yeah. We should we should cover every we, base. We should yes. Yes. You're right. Uh, but I feel like all roads are going to lead back to this. I, I, f I feel like if there's anything missing, it's by behind there. Straight ahead. But I just don't want to go in there. All right. Well, well somebody let's has like, to. Let's procrastinate by looking in the attic. Yes. Then. Let's <laughs> procrastinate. Absolutely, absolutely acceptable. <laughs> and I just want you to know that as your keeper, I have no. Agenda. So if you wanted to go, we leave and come back later, or we leave for months, or we what? go and talk to the constable. I mean, you probably won't choose those things, but you could. It's completely wide open. Right now, it sounds like you're going to the attic. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Same marching order as before? Right. Miss St. Clair? Well, well, it sounds yeah. like you've oh, lost a little bit of courage. Yet. Would you like to not yeah, be in the we front? We believe in you. Yeah. I've got new blades in me in me fingers. Oh yes, and I have I, I have my 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 firearm. I have a we shovel. We shall lead right. the way together. Yes. All right. Fair enough. I've got a light and a and a strange claw. Yes, yes. The the attic is up those stairs, and I'll if anybody oh, along behind. Yes, and if anybody messes with you, they'll get tetanus. Um, right. Right. So I think that uh, does that mean Geraldine or you are in the front? Uh, if we have to choose one, I'll be I'll be oh, first. I'll be it's first. A, it's a right thin now. little stair, and you uh, are soon up in like kind of you know one of those kind of crawl spacey kind of areas. But there is a, a full door there, and uh, it sounds like Geraldine, you're leading. Yeah, that's yes. right. Uh, thank you for <laughs> helping me yes. visualize exactly what's going on. <laughs> enormous, enormous portrait nails. Uh, yeah. Yes. Now, uh, if you at any point put those markers down, I'm going to assume that you're unarmed. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you uh, you arrive at the top of the stairs, and uh, the doorknob to the attic is right there. Right. Open it. It's locked. <gasps> you could try bashing it down, or someone with locksmith could attempt to open it. Well. Uh, I'll have 40, I have 40% locksmith. Oh. I'll I don't try. Know. You want yes, to try? perhaps you could use one of the nails. Yes, I, I, yes, I, I, jigger, I jigger the nails. Multi, multi oh, we'll purpose. Yes, yes, it's a very yes. good tool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like one of those uh, Swiss Army knives. 22. Excellent. Uh, Geraldine quickly makes short work of the lock. It's an old lock in an old house. And. The attic door swings open. It is pitch black in there. Who is uh, shining some light in? 
Oh, I still have the, the candle. candle. Oh, you had the candle as well. I, I quickly became VIP. <laughs> um, you see cobwebs. You see some old boxes, but the attic kind of turns back into the darkness. There's, it's, there's some length to it that your candle isn't quite illuminating yet. Okay. Creep forward. Uh, creeping forward, you are now. The boxes are now at your feet. Is anybody going in with her? I'm going in with her with my with my right. Yeah. My Is everyone going in with? Yes. Her? All right. Come on. Yeah, I'll we have go. To do this. That's why I don't we're want here. to do that myself. The uh, old boxes are at your feet, and then you can turn and look deeper into the attic with your light if you'd like. Let's go. Shall we look at the boxes? Just take a little, uh, my hands are little full. peek. Dot if they're not sealed. I shine the light. Are they labeled in any way? Um, they are. Um, some of them are uh, old manuscripts uh, and. Oh. Uh, you know, uh, typewritten uh, pages that he has kind of thrown up here. Some look like they're quite old. You, you notice one right away that is from like a literary magazine at Oxford in Aww. like, you know, 1899. So it's where he's keeping like some old, some old documents. Mm -hmm. um, did anything get published after World in the Web? No, and that was 1921, so that was five years ago. All right. Oh. Um, I think it's just old. His memories, manuscripts, and things he's old. working on. Does anything look newer? No, nothing looks newer. Um, there are some. You you pop open another box, and it's not even manuscripts. It's like attic junk. You know, a piece yeah. of an old lamp. Uh, uh some Christmas decorations. Mm -hmm. Can I do a spot hidden to see if there's... You may. Yeah. Is the temperature colder up there, by the way? It is not colder. Mm. I rolled another 81 over 70, so I'm going to use more luck. Um, you are outside of luck range. You can only what? spend 10 luck, and you are 11 over uh, your your, nice. your score. Right. Um, so uh, you can look deeper into the attic. Yeah, yes, I'm going to keep go. trucking along. Um, turning to your right, the attic goes deeper. It kind of, uh, it, you know, it's one of those attics where, like, uh, there's a space where people can work and do things in, and then there's this yeah. place that's just kind of like in the ceiling over the house. Yeah, yeah. And when you turn to that side of the attic, you notice uh, something uh, no. standing on one of the rafters. No. Uh, it is uh, a tall, the size of a man. Um, it's, it, is, it has te a tentacle for a head <gasps> and a huge mouth in its human-like torso. Oh, yeah. Tentacles in lieu of legs. It is a Awful, repugnant, despicable statue. Ooh, oh, what? Please make a sanity roll just for looking at this <laughs> oh, statue. Uh, I was gonna say, wait a minute. Oh no! <gasps> I rolled it. Okay, I was like, oh I have to no, out that, that's a ten. Okay. You're doing no, fine. I think good. Thirteen. I don't want to be. <laughs> Aren't three zeros? I always get it confused. Oh, all zeros? All, all zeros, zeros is a one hundred. One hundred. Is it? It's yes, all zeros, a, a 10. I'm and sorry. Then, yeah. I'm sorry, oh, Nora. I'm That's sorry. okay. It's just a statue. Uh, you lose, You are unnerved by it and lose one sanity. Okay. Did anybody else fail? I nope. did. You I lose one sanity. Because I, I remember how scary the Sea King was in the book I read. Yeah. And this is, I assume. Um, uh, if I may, as your keeper, this is not the Sea King. Yeah, this is something else. Keeper. Although you are interested in the sort of nautical illusions here its head is a tentacle and it has tentacles for legs oh. and a huge gaping mouth oh, in its torso it is a statue uh, it, that is, someone has constructed is the tentacle is the tentacle like going down or is it uh, going up like a dollop up like a do like a dollop like it's like uh, uh, like a, a pointy ponytail pointed head el yeah. elf elven elfin hat yes a santa hat yes you're tentacle. making it less scary but yes <laughs> why would someone want this in their home that is a excellent question <laughs> oh. i don't know who would create I mean, such a thing may or i even commission it can we go up? What's to it made so out of? Closer. I might be able to. D I don't want to, but I know about statues. I took a course once when I was bored one summer. Uh, it was when I was 18, actually, but I remembered quite a bit of what I learned about statues. So this babbling is making me braver. May I? May I examine it with a, an art and craft role? I will spend one luck point. 
Because I rolled a 51 over 50. Very good. So I'm at 37 total luck. Um, the lucky thing that happens is that having recently looked at the anatomical print of a spider, mm -hmm. you are in that mindset of the fact that uh, sometimes artwork is created off of life models. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is the feeling you get from this statue, that it is not someone's whimsical and sick caprice that it did not come out of the head of any artist, but rather that this was sculpted with a life model to refer to. That is how remarkably detailed it is. It's almost like, like a photograph. It's so real feeling when you look at it. You know that the details are so accurately represented. What? I find it hard to believe this has come out of someone's imagination, but also, how could that be? It's Wait a, minute. a monster. So what is it made of? Oh, I'm what trying is to it say made that of? something like this walks the earth. It's made of stone, and I can tell you also with your successful art sculpture role that it looks like it was carved fairly recently. <gasps> it looks like a fairly recently ca carved stone, like within the last 14 months. Is it the same stone well, as your uh, stone? Well, before. Just, just Maybe before, before 14 months. Is it the same stone? Is it the same stone? That is it that I don't think so. It is not. Because that was green, I think. Yes. Right. Um... I hope nothing like this walks the earth, Holiday, but I don't. Is, is, there, right, is, is the mouth open in his chest? Is it open? Yes. Is there something in it? Yes. <gasps> what? Wait, did you already say that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what, what, what's in there? What's in that mouth? A red candle. <gasps> oh, Long since gone out. A right. red candle. Oh, no. Should I light it? I've got yes. a candle. Yes, yes, of course. Absolutely. Um, Don't. What? No. no. What is happening? I know we want to find the missing people, but what? We keep but, going through haunted houses and house? chasing after hooves and lighting red candles. And Get the hell out of yourself. No, we just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're right. I'm, I'm sorry, um, Melanope. I think I'm going to do it. Do it, uh, yes. Here's the uh, thing. This may get us, we may get answers if we light the candle, don't you think? We no. might get dead if we light the candle. I don't know, it's just there's something scary here. Yeah, it's very scary. I, I wouldn't mind a second light source, though. Second light source? I will also pull out that green star that I think is just a prop, but it makes me feel safe, and I'm just going to hold it to make me feel safe. Okay, very good. And I'm okay. going to stick the wick in. Yes. And light it. And light it. Have at it. You're going to give me a power roll. Uh, is that good? A power <laughs> roll? I don't know if it's good. We'll see. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, 24 under 70. Ooh, but under 35. Oh, no. oh un hard. under 35 is a, 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 a number. You've done very well. Um, uh, suddenly, uh, as you look into the flickering flame inside the statue's mouth, uh, you uh, have a, a vision, Geraldine. As you're looking in your mind's eye, you see a black ship, a black galley with oars sticking out of the side and a great awful sail unfurled in the wind and you see that the black galley is floating, flying very quickly over a bleak, purple, rocky landscape and the vision gets closer and closer to one of the windows of the ship closer and closer as if you're flying alongside it and then flying directly into it and you come to one of the thin dark windows of the ship and just as about your vi uh, the moment that your vision is about to enter the ship you see uh, something awful moving wetly inside and you awaken Whoa. right beside your friends <gasps> oh make a sanity roll <laughs> <laughs> oh yes uh, 48 under 68 uh, with a 48 under 68, your vision will only cost you one sanity. All right. Oh, oh, what oh. Are you all right? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I'm not wet. What did you, what did you see? Uh, what happened? Uh, oh, there, 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 there was a ship um, in a different, uh, on the sea, uh, floating, I think. Or maybe it was in the sky. It, it, was, it was sloppy, it, it was, but it was grand. And then... And then there was a monster inside the ship. It, it took up the entire part of the ship. It was coming to get me. I was on the outside. It was on the inside. But what was the monster doing? Um, coming to get me. I, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 it was so scary. I've never seen anything like it. So scary. 
Do you think we'd all see the same thing if we looked in there? I don't want to look in there. I said we don't want to light the candle. We don't want to do. Was that part of? Well, was do that you remember of the book? Was it? Was it? Uh, was there a story about a thing in, infecting a, a ship? Yes, I mean, there was a. Fl- the first book is the flying ship. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't well, this a children's it was like book? This. Why would yes. it be in there in the first place? Well, it wasn't scary at first. It didn't get scarier until later. I think, if I remember correctly. That's right. The flying ship is uh, quite uh, whimsical and. Fancy. Fanciful, <laughs> uh, a pleasant story, and the My flying character. ship in the book is a, a happy uh, occurrence. It's a, a wonderful, magical flying ship that flies the children all over Dreamland. And it's delightful. Oh, that's that not what I saw. Doesn't sound like the same thing. No, uh, there was a, there was um, it had a sail. It had a, a, a black sails. Does it anything? Is that Nothing. Oh, does it? No, I don't think so. It sounds horrible. It was, Really bad. Just gonna make a roll to find something out. Oh no. I'm intrigued. Okay. Is ah uh, oh boy. Should Can I do a spot? I'm terrible at this. I'm just oh, I don't want to think about this. I'm gonna start looking around and see if there's anything else I can di- I can find to distract them with away from the statue. That- there are a couple candles around the statue too that look like they've been burnt down. Someone has been conducting some sort of right here are they, or they're in like a specific shape of some sort no they seem just sort of arranged in order to uh i don't know like a, like at a shrine uh-oh how, how many candles <laughs> five perhaps if we find five more candles um i have something i wanted to bring up to all of you, something that my studies in the paranormal and spirituality have told me, I think this might be an altar. <gasps> oh, to what? Is it to that thing? Perhaps. What do you, what what do you mean? mean? This is not, no. Well, um, Which means that there are rites p- performed right here at this very spot that perhaps if we tried to perform those rites, we could see what you saw, or worse. Does the statue have, so all the limbs are, t- are, t- are tentacles? Uh, no, it has two human-like arms, but the uh, where the feet would be are tentacles and where the head would be is one long tentacle. Do I think... Is there any any way that I think that these tentacles made the 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 smacking the clacking sound? Great question. You oh, are unsure. Oh, I don't know. Yes, do me, me. I mean, it is right. made of stone, so that might make a clacking sound. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. This is why we're here. All right. Well, oh. I, I tell y'all that. I want to just go around this thing and inspect it and see if there's any. It, if, if reading enough of, of these sort of mysteries uh, novels have taught me is that usually these these things may have a, a, a space for that to fit into it, mm-hmm. maybe. This? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. So I'm going to like look to see if there's like any place for that that, that fits into this sculpture. Um, there actually is not. There is no star-shaped indention or any way that you think that the two objects interact. Good news. They're unrelated. (laughs) I I have a proposal. Perhaps we really want to know what's going on before we just do a ritual that we have no idea what it's going to create. There is a library here. (gasps) Maybe we could go and use that library in some way and um, research, you know. Right, and you you see if there's, maybe there's writings or a book about what this is, this statue. Do you think we have time for that though with this thing? Set loose in the house. You heard it upstairs, right? R- right. They. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think we should absolutely go to his, at we? Least his office in his uh, the de- uh, writing desk. Perhaps we could we could do it quickly. I just think we should know more about what's going on than what we do know. I kind of I, I, I like that, and I also want to move the statue. You want to try to move that thing out of the house? <laughs> it looks like it weighs two. 50, 100, it's there, but it's not there. doing any. We can't. We can't really investigate it right here. And it, it's, uh, it sucks. It's silly, you know. It, uh, it's certainly you can certainly move the statue out of the house. It would take two of you lifting to get it. Oh, oh. 
Well, uh, okay, it's well, heavy. It doesn't seem impossible, and you're strong. You're strong. You're so strong. <laughs> yeah, you know, I am strong, actually. Yeah, we're not ju- strong enough to lift a dead body. We're just but strong. Discovering <laughs> this about you. Um, yeah. So, but I like the idea of a library search. I just don't like this guy being in the attic. We could split up again. Oh, true. Oh boy. Yes. But right. I don't know. I mean, it, you, you don't need to move it if you'd like, and we can go try to. I mean, where are we going to put it in the front yard? In the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's bit about the end of where my um, yeah. idea went, but I just don't want it in the house. All right, let's let, let's do it. Let's move it. Okay. All right. Um, just to see how it goes. Strength rolls for both of you. <laughs> Strength rolls. <laughs> and meanwhile, you're you're, uh, you're uh, investigating the library. Yes. Let's see how this goes first. No, 83. 83. Did you both fail? We failed, yeah. Wait, okay. Do you want to push? Oh boy, I can't even push it. <laughs> oh, you can't even push it. Okay, yeah, I, I got an 83. You could push it. I mean, it would, it, would, it would mean that if you fail the second time, something terrible happens. Let's do it. Yep. <laughs> okay, we both push How are you trying harder? Um, how are we trying harder? Oh, I found, um, I have, I found um, um, like a, uh, fire firewood that is that is round, mm-hmm. and we're like gonna try to like roll, like like the old ships of yore. Sounds great. Oh, okay. I can't see how that could go wrong. <laughs> Let me oh have boy. strength rolls. So okay. it's just we'll well, it's just, we just do the oh, uh, the d10. I think that you can roll the whole thing roll over whole thing, again yeah. when you okay. push. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes, 32, 14. Yes. You did it. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> so um, uh, these two ladies are getting the statue all the way down <gasps> the stairs. I'm going to check something again. <laughs> okay. Uh, and meanwhile, in the library, um, uh, it is cramped with books in shelves and stacks. It's very unorganized. There are even books on the floor. It will be a little bit difficult to make sense of this. What would you like to do? I would like to see if there's anything um, that is out and about um, that looks like it might have the same symbol as the green stone star shape that I have, or that looks like the statue that we found, mm. a kind of a creature. Okay. And I would like to rummage through the uh, through his writing desk or, or, or whatever. I'm assuming there's an office. There is. A, the office is a different room. A different you can room. go in there if you'd I will, like. I shall go check his office. That's fine. I will look through the library here. Very good. What skill are you using to look through the library? Well, I think library used to make sense, <laughs> even though I'm not particularly skilled you in You could choose something else. Well, here's, Spot hidden. Oh, oh, that is slightly better. What if, hear me out, mm-hmm. I could use natural world because I'm looking for books about things that might exist in the natural world like stones and creatures and stars and things and per- and I just it's a you can say no no I'm gonna allow it I'm gonna allow it a hard natural world roll and um you- no, I might I should have just it's the same as my <laughs> I need um, to roll the same as my library usage, but I, but, oh, yes, I, I feel better because it's a skill. If I succeed, I'll mark it. Okay, excellent. Oh, no. No. Um, no, it's not a fumble. In fact, no. the, the, the problem is not that you failed. It's that he has almost no books about the natural world whatsoever. He oh. mostly has uh, books that uh, look uh, occultish in nature. Oh, dear. About um, fringe theories and beliefs. Um, witchcraft, oh, oh, oh. hermetic sorcery. Oh. oh, I know. Shocking. Shocking. Shock. Father would not approve. Father would not approve. Um, in order to make more sense of them, you will need to try some other type of approach. I'll let you think about that right. while Penelope enters the office where there is a roll top desk, a chair, a typewriter, and another statue. <gasps> this oh. one of a satyr. <laughs> How long? Oh. Tapering in a glen. The scariest is this a life-size statue? It is not. It is uh, It is more like a, a little thing that sits in the corner of the room, and it looks like it's more meant to be uh, a, a funny character. Ah, I see. I still should like to pick it up and, and check underneath if there's any uh, engravings. You're very nervous about statues now. You look under it, no, in, no, no etchings, no, no special um, markings on it. Right? Well, uh, I shall look through the desk then. Very good. Um, uh, no no um, role necessary. You find uh, a lot of recent receipts. But in order to make sense of what would be interesting about his financial records, you'll need to give me some sort of role. Otherwise, right. you just have a lot of receipts and 
you know, uh, copies of him paying the bills and things like that. I see. Well, it would have been helpful if I had any sort of accounting uh, skills, but I do not. So, does a library use? I'm, I will allow library use, but I'm going to make it hard because... Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. Because it's not the main skill. Uh, no, I rolled an 80, so an that, 80. that does not suffice. Um, you can't make any sense of this. Um, perhaps there's someone else in the party who's pretty good at library use. Yes. But that then be me, but at the moment she's I'm busy a pushing a statue down the stairs. <laughs> right. um, are you taking it out the back door or the front door? What are you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, okay, all right. I, I realize we do need a plan. So, so the idea is that it's not in this house anymore, and if we want to investigate any more, then we're not going to be creeped out by... Um, um, weird, weird, weird stuff, and and then we can get the the cops or whatever to like, uh, you know, look. come and get it, whatever it is. But I mean, the thing we we must keep in mind is that usually um, occultists that uh, engage in activities such as this, when they have an altar in the house, it's to call forth something somewhere in the house. So let's bring it into the light, so it, that, that thing can't happen. I mean, yeah, yeah uh, I, I, yes. it's it's dodgy logic. It's dodgy logic, but it could. It, it's better than having it up here so while we investigate. Let's the put it in the front yard, right in the front door, <laughs> right in the front step. On the, right on the yes, on the patio, where everyone <laughs> will <laughs> know it's there, and it Don't can't like walk this. away. And it can't walk away, and mm. yeah, it'll be it'll be just right there. I think that's the best idea. Okay, but right it's still front. dark out, right? It is. Um, are you going to put it out in the front? The front. Yes. Uh, so as you are um, uh, wheeling and hefting the statue out uh, into the front, uh, right beside the hedge, um, a, a motorist comes by uh, and is driving uh, their you know uh, Model T type automobile, and uh, uh, it, it, it he looks right Sir? at you. Oi, Sir? neighbor! Come here for a minute. We need your oh. help. I'll take care of him, sir. Um, he does not stop. He just keeps do driving this? down the lane. What are we going to do? He saw us. Did they see our faces? Well, we're not missing or anything. We could just tell them what we're doing. <laughs> right? Like, the, the problem... Doing. No, the problem with M Anthony or whatever... Uh, Tony. Uh, no, Where Arnold, is Tony? Arnold. No, no. The problem with, with when someone saw Arnold is that then he went missing. But we're not missing yet. So if anyone comes looking for us, we'll... All we have to do is make up a story or tell them exactly. Just that we were dragging a gargoyle statue out of the attic and putting it at the front lawn so people could drive by <laughs> and see it. That makes no sense, okay. Geraldine. Okay, so we'll make up a story then. We'll make something up fancy. Yeah. But wait, where is Tony? Because if he's not here, you know where he is? In the backyard where we left him. Oh, he's getting constable to come here and arrest oh, us all. Would you like right. to check on him? Yeah, let's check on him. Where's his um, body? I have rolled several times to see if Tony has regained consciousness. I wondered what you were doing over there. And uh, when you arrive in the back, uh, the back walk where Tony was laying, he's still laying there. Um, <laughs> okay. Maybe if perhaps as you arrive, <gasps> he goes. Uh, uh, Sleepy time. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> it looks like he might not be unconscious much longer. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. No, maybe and, we, and, and and statue up. Yes. No, wait, what are you doing? The statue's maybe on the front line. Him. You're in the him. back now. You're knocking him out. I don't want to leave him there. What if he gets up and sees what we're doing? All right. We will end up in prison or worse. Okay, all right. Knock him out. Well, yeah, knock him out a bit. Would you? Would you end up in prison for breaking and entering an abandoned house and moving a statue around? Look. We would for beating up a man in the yard, we would. Oh, well, that is that is <laughs> the biggest you crime you've committed. Take care of them. <laughs> like you were supposed to take uh, care of the... Uh, if you would like to keep him sedated. unconscious, sedated, well, are I you doing know. it with I a mean, shovel or are you doing it by sedating him somehow? Uh, let's... How about... Let's take him... <laughs> and throw him in uh, the wardrobe. No, no, upstairs and, and tuck him into bed. <laughs> Would you like to do that? Yeah. Tuck him in it's the wardrobe. Just, I don't want... Here's a two, Okay, there's two things here. Number one, I don't want him to be privy to what we are doing because sometimes we have to do things that are quite unsavory. Secondly, I don't want him taking credit if we find out what happened here because we know what some men will do and he's the type to try to take credit and say we assisted him. So, so what you're saying is you don't want anybody finding out and you also don't want him taking credit. Yes. Okay. This will be my third book. Right. In your article. In my um, article. Shall we tuck him into bed? Guest bedroom or FC's bedroom? The, I'm feeling uh, magnanimous. The, where's the, yeah, where's the portal? It's in <laughs> FC's bedroom. Okay, so get, yeah. 
Let's Wait just yeah. Let's just carry things up and down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? You're tucking him into I FC Lewin's bedroom. No, no, no. The one without the por the portal. The one without the portal. Okay, let's there are two, yeah. and you can yeah. let's yes. say the one with the vanity. Okay. okay. Um, uh, they are on this floor if you need to interact with them. Um, putting a man into bed in whom they assaulted with a shovel. You guys, uh, what would you like to do next? I would like to do a spot hidden check. I would like to, to check for any any sort of, uh, if he had any secret uh, entryways into perhaps another room or, or, or any other documents that I'd missed. Or any statues in the in the library or in the office? Uh, in the office. Okay, Let's you may make there. a spot hidden roll. Okay. Fifty one under seventy. Ooh. There are no secret passages. There are no secret levers. This is a fairly boring office. There are financial records and a roll top desk, I'm and sure. a creepy statue. I'm going to pocket, like, um, sh are, are the financial things enough for me to, like, shove in a satchel or something until There's I There's a ledger and then a bunch of bills of sale. Yeah. I'm yeah. going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take them. And and put them in a satchel? Yeah. You can do that. All right. And then I, I'll head over to the library. Okay. Uh, where your friend is looking for books about the natural world. Have you found anything? No. And I've just been standing here, surrounded by these books, trying to come up with an idea. Thinking very hard of maybe I could just have some sort of genius moment where an idea just strikes me. Could I make an idea An roll? idea roll? And it, uh, just a flat-out intelligence roll? Sure. No, no, I'm not very skilled in the way of uh, <laughs> the written word and yes. research and school things, so maybe I'll just have a brilliant moment. No, I sure don't. I'm going to give you an idea roll anyway. I've already given it to you once. The team doesn't always have to split into two. The author probably knows about books. That's <sighs> true. <gasps> oh, do you know what? Doing in the graveyard. What? Oh, not a graveyard. No, yet. we're we're carrying a holiday. Mm -hmm. Oi, oh, just uh, uh, carrying uh, this. <laughs> Cutie boy, it's Tony. <laughs> Do you have, have a minute? <laughs> oh, sure. I can. I got this. Yeah. Drops him. We what's, need, what's, what's wrong? Um, we are looking for things in the library, and we realized we went there. But you're the one who knows about books. Oh yes, I've I can't known. find anything. Perhaps you can delve into the mind state of a of a of a genius author, and uh, find something helpful in this pile of hoarded books. Well, all right. I mean, I find it quite disturbing that a man who followed this sort of things and had this in the cellar was also writing books for children. But all right, show me what you found so far. Nothing. I found what? nothing. I have nothing to show you. Right. And I say, if I see one more weird child satyr statue, what? I'm going to vomit. Oh, oh, but I did enough. There are like cult, occulty looking things in here. Really? Yes, and I found out his financial records, if you'd like to see and them. And his financial records. Let's look at those. So um, both a library use and or an occult role would maybe tell you something about these let's occult tones. Oh, well, yeah, let's do library. Better. 28, which means I got a hard success. Yes. Very well done. Um, so... Um, you find his notations, uh, which our friend has uh, thus far ignored. Marked pages in several of the occult tomes refer to a Book of Iban, which can teach a wizard how to create or close a gate into another world. Oh. It's a Book of Iban. What is that? that? How to create or close a gate into another world. None of these books are the Book of Iban, but oh. several of them mention the Book of oh, Iban. How to create. <gasps> so he created. That's what he's trying to do. He wants to create a way to either exit this world or bring things from another world into this one. What if he already did it? And he like the wardrobe. the book, yes. He went into the wardrobe, now he's stuck in there. You think he's stuck in the portal? Maybe. We had, he's been missing for 14 months. What do you think? It's either that or something came out and took him out. So yes. Tony's put to bed um, anyway. Uh, remember, remember the guy that was buried in the backyard? Yes. Yeah, yes. we didn't bury him, though. We didn't bury Tony, but there was a skeleton. Oh, yes. Right. No, we don't know who that ghost. is. I believe it was probably, I think, Harold Peters because of the... The fingerless gloves feel like a thing a gardener would wear. 
Oh. I knitted once. I knitted a pair of fingerless gloves once. Nice. Yes. So many talents. Thank you. What if it was FC Lou? I mean, it was pretty uh, disintegrated. When I saw yeah, the he ghost. Was bones. Mm. The ghost. Did it, I recognize it? did not look like FC Lewin. Um, it looked like uh, a man with, uh, how can I describe it? When your nose is sort of um, got a lot of capillaries from drinking, his uh, face was very red. He was very unshaven. His hair hung in dark, long, greasy locks, and there was blood pouring out of his chest. Now that I think so did he have a birthmark yes. on his belly? He did not have a birthmark on his belly. Mm. Although that part of him was covered in blood. Oh. Could it have been Mr. Whitney? It could have been. All right. He, okay. All right. What do we do now? Should we try and... Uh, are there other portals in the other wardrobes? Or two other wardrobes? You haven't opened them yet. I will... Yes. But I, 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 I can't think of anything else to do, so I'm <laughs> going to open the other wardrobes. Um, the other wardrobes are less f- filled with clothes than that one. Yeah. And there are no portals in the other wardrobes. So it's wardrobes. just that one. Um, just that one portal. I... I feel I've got. I want to do knowledge occult and see if I know anything um, about the book of Ivan. Yes, you can make that roll if you'd like. That mention of it. A two. A two. Normally, I would say absolutely not, but you got it extreme, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Twelve was the extreme. Um, You have. You know from some occult writings about Atlantis that Ivan was an Atlantean wizard. Some consider him the first wizard, the first person to learn how to use magic. Like Atlantis, like the under the sea. Yep. Well, not under the sea. It's a a continent that sank. Uh, uh, Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, so not like Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay, I've, I'm putting some. I'm connecting some dots in my head. Uh, the uh, the guy that we dragged out into the front yard might be Ivan himself. What? <gasps> the Ivan. The Ivan. The wizard. The guy. The portal man. Um. Uh, all right. And there was, if this altar was the rites of passage or whatever, the ritual was. That's right. Could have been literally to open the portal or make it. Right. Um, make listen rolls. Oh, no. Yeah, this is a problem. Jeez, please. Nope. Oh, jeez. A two. <gasps> yes. I'm too busy going, no, 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 to hear anything. No, Geraldine, you're the one that hears a automobile pulling up in front of the house. <laughs> oh, oh, shite. What's wrong? Shite. The what? cops, the cops, they're after us. The cops here? Oh, you I... can look out the window I mean, if you oh. like. <laughs> oh, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a car. There's, there's a motor, a, a motor vehicle. Well, look out yes. the window and see if it's a constable. And I won't do it. Oh, look. Oh, okay. look out the window. And in the moonlight, you can see that Constable Burroughs and uh, another policeman I are getting out of the car and coming toward the house. We gotta go. And in fact, they've immediately shined their <laughs> torches onto the strange statue sitting in the front yard. Well, maybe, maybe if we hide and just listen, maybe they know something that we don't. <gasps> that's yes. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's why you're private detective. Elementary, a, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Let's hide in the, the attic. <laughs> Let's all hide. I will just warn my players that this scenario has no written ending, and it could end with all of them just going to jail. Oh, um, my God. So would you like to hide and listen? Yes. 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 And you're yes. hiding in the attic? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. I'm like, in a box. Can I, well, we all hear from there, all right. Uh, oh, you'll have to make listen rolls. Sure. All right. Yes. Yes. In the attic. Okay. Everybody goes up into the attic. Do you shut the door? No. Yes. We leave it open. Yes, leave it open. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see uh, what they discover when. They're already, you can already hear them kind of like going, what the, what am I looking at here? You tell me, we sir. Hear two, we hear two voices. So it's yeah. Two, two voices. Two men. What, uh, what are we, we looking at here? You tell me, cover. sir. They're looking at that statue out no. front. Oh no! Oh no! There's a guy! There's a Tony! I forgot about oh, yeah. Tony! <laughs> what we out front? What were we thinking? Well, they're behind the house now. They decided to circle the house, and you hear, My God, man! Look! What is this? And what does that reporter have to do? I mean, no, they didn't meet the reporter. 
And what does Miss St. Clair have to do with this? Well, they'll hear from my father. Wait, they, what are those two women? They, they only met you. No, they met you two. They, they met, met us. Two. Yes. But yeah. they don't know. You're, it doesn't yes. matter. Look, what do those <laughs> women have to do with this? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so let's see what they do now. Okay. They're uh, put, putting, puttering around in the uh, first floor. Oh, we they have it. Okay. Oh, 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 remember, uh, Tony's in bed. Oh, should we? Tony's in bed. If he wakes no, up, we, we're no, all dead. No, maybe not. Maybe he gets blamed. No, they saw us in the front yard. They saw us in the front yard? The motorist did. Were they the same? But the motorist right? kept going. Oh, he told the police. <gasps> oh, no. He said there's two weird women in the front yard putting a statue up in the abandoned house. That's why they're here. Okay. Okay, I'll question. Should we just go into the portal? Which you As opposed to... I would rather go into the portal than go to jail. Would you? Yes. We could all just put one of those winter coats on and, and go in there. And I don't like it, but I don't know what else to what? do. Wait, do you? To put to go to jail? Why would he have so many coats and there's cold? It's cold in there. He must be able to go in there. And come in the back. And come back. Oh my god, you're right. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's put on some coats let's, and go. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it now. So quickly and quietly before... And the then and then, and then, they'll, then they'll blame everything on Tony. Are you yes. sneaking or running? Running. Running. Let's, yeah, we're going to... The gunk, 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 gunk. Your steps make a loud footfalls as you run into the guest room and start grabbing coats and heavy uh, clothes out of the trunk and you throw them on and you run back into the uh, master bedroom where uh, Tony opens his eyes and is like, whoa, as you all start jumping into the wardrobe. Who's first? I'll go first. You, you will? Yes. Oh um, your hand touches the back of the wardrobe and suddenly you're falling forward as the entire wardrobe turns into kind of a liquid that kind of slides around you. It looks like droplets of mercury sort of bending around you uh, and you feel this sort of cold feeling that permeate, permeates rather your very being and you lose three magic points. Okay. Your magic points... Where are my magic? Start at eight, and you now have five. Okay. On um, each of you has magic points equal to one fifth of your power, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, I uh, is everybody going through? Yes. Everybody's going through. We we have to. All of you lose magic points. Uh, three magic points from your magic point total. Um. Nine. Yep. All right. Yes. Um, I'm a nine now. Yes, so keep track of those. Yep. And um, uh, first, Penelope, you uh, find yourself falling forward, and then suddenly you fall onto like a hard rock, and there is snow all over your hand, and the rock is freezing cold, and you look up, and you're on the side of a mountain, and there's a blizzard going on. <laughs> and um, this is not where you were scant seconds ago. Make a sanity roll before you do anything else. Oh, my goodness. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. 13. Yeah. 13, well done. And then you are followed by Claire St. Clair. Yes. Uh, you land, you lose three magic points, and you make a sanity roll as you look out over Why? the... These, these these peaks are like jagged, like spires sticking up into an impossible landscape that is filled with howling winds, filled with ice. This is not like the last time I went skiing and I fail. I'm very, very upset. Oh, you fail. Okay, if you fail, that means you lose 1d6 sanity. Please don't be and, five. Uh, if it's five or more, we might have to roll to see if you go temporarily insane. Right now, it is five. Oh. And so you must now make an intelligence roll. Yes. If the oh. intelligence roll is successful, that's bad. Why is that where I rolled the 14? Uh, okay. I understand exactly. Oh I know exactly what has happened. I have come through this wardrobe. I have fallen into another place. Is this, is this like in the stories? It's all true. There really was a ghost. We're going to find really out exactly a thing. with it our was. bout of madness real-time table exactly what happens to you, okay? I love using this table, okay? Oh, no. uh, oh. Miss St. Clair, oh, a 10. Mania. The investigator gains a new mania. Uh, I can roll on a table 
but I want you're obsessed with something now all of a sudden in this moment I am obsessed with the the, the stone that I found and I'm just like all I can do is like oh stare at it there's an answer somewhere in here there's an answer I know there is if I just look hard enough there's an answer um, the other two you uh, fall through the portal you lose three magic points and you make a sanity roll as you realize you're hanging onto an icy cliff in the middle of a mountainous landscape what? from hell right which roll? Sanity roll, please. All good. Against your current sanity. 40. Yeah, 63, which means I can use some luck points. No. Not on a sanity oh. roll. Sanity roll. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's see uh -oh. how many you lose. Holiday. You lose five. And so now uh, you must make an intelligence <laughs> make an check? intelligence check. Oh, if you fail it, that's good. That means you don't realize what's really happening. You make up some kind of story for In what's happening. Head, yeah. yeah. 72, which means 72 I'm so is bad. a fail. Yeah, I yeah, fail. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. a fail, I think. Yeah, it is uh, just barely, but it's a fail. Yeah. So you're able to keep it together. Well, you're used to weird uh, yes. phenomenon. You investigate it, you write about it. Yes. So for you, maybe this is even like exciting or uh, edifying. I knew this day would come. I am here, do you hear me? I um, knew. So, uh, yes, so you're all on the side of this mountaintop. Wind is blowing. Luckily, you put on the heavy clothes, uh, but uh, you are in a precarious position, hanging on to jagged purple rock in what? an inhospitable landscape. How long am I having my bout of... Uh Temporary. Uh, let's see. Sanity four. Oh yes, you all are very worried about Miss St. Clair, who is grasping the uh, stone and whispering to it and begging it to help her. And you, uh, it only, that only lasts two minutes, and then you have control of your character again. Okay. Uh, I think we we need to get on solid ground. We need to just at least get feel the the ground underneath our feet. So we just fall then? What? No. Not no. Like jagged no. ice. I mean, oh, it's ice. Do, do we get the sense that, like, just a little further we could get, like... Versus? You have to do a little climbing. Oh, we have to do a little climbing. You're kind of up on this peak, and you'd have to kind of climb down. Oh, boy. Oh, climb down. Oh. All right. Let's do it. Am I... Has it been two minutes yet? Yes. Okay. Yeah, certainly you could wait two minutes until she recovers okay. a little bit, right? Um, all right. Get a hold of yourself, Clara. Um... This actually, I went skiing in a place like this once, and and I I, I I think maybe I have some survival skill on the mountains, and perhaps I could help find us a safe, first, the safest path possible to somewhere good. That sounds really survival reasonable. Check. So, uh, if you give me you give me a survival roll, listen. If you get it normal, you take care of yourself. If you get it hard, we're gonna uh, allow you to take care of. Uh, one other a member of your party. And if you get it extreme, everybody safely follows your path and gets down without a problem. I rolled a 28. A yes. hard success is a 20. Um, I say, just, you know, follow me. Oh. And I just start to go down, but I'm not going to spin the luck points because I think here's why here's the reason it's not that I don't care deeply about all of you is that I have just come out of a bout of madness and yes. I there's only so much uh, awareness I think I have in this in moment yeah. I assume you'll be able to follow me fine if understood everybody else yeah. then must roll climb and oh, no. climb begins at 20 percent so yes 20 yeah. percent you all can do it it's all right I didn't yeah. doom you no oh, oh no, no. Oh, no. Like 20 What's that? Then you have to roll under 20. If it's you have to roll under 20. That's right. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 33, so I can't. I'm sorry. And I have a 57. Okay, no problem. So here's what happens. You don't fall and die, but as you're trying to fall, follow Clara down the mountain, um, these are jagged rocks. They're icy. You're slipping. You're, you do fall in certain places. And Geraldine, you take a d8 of damage oh. from this trip okay. you lose uh oh look at you that's a one you lose one damage okay um then uh let's see uh uh holiday yes you you lose uh here we go a d6 of damage mm -hmm. you lose two damage from this climb okay 
And finally, Penelope. You lose a D8 of damage. You lose. I'm so sorry. Penelope, you suffer the worst. <gasps> you take seven damage I'm sorry, climbing what? down this oh, cliff. Oh, my God. How many hit points do you have? Twelve. Oh. Whoa. I have five. So at one point, uh, Penelope falls quite a little distance and really, really hurts her. <gasps> Uh, how many hit points do you have to 12? Yeah. I need to make a constitution roll right now. Oh, oh my god. Oh, why? Why didn't I help? Penelope? I'm sorry. Oh no. 28 under 60. So oh, it's a hard success. <gasps> so you do not suffer. You don't get maimed. You don't broke, break a leg or something. Because if you had failed that, you might have broken a leg or broken a foot. But uh, luckily, you just kind of uh, take a really bad fall onto ice and hurt yourself to the tune of seven damage. I'm okay. No. Oh, oh God. no. But you all have found yourself uh, now off of that peak onto a more flat landscape. You're on some sort of like large plateau that stretches off into the icy mist. Oh, uh, before we go anywhere, how do we how do we make sure we get back? Can you, can we look up and see where the if there was like a another portal thing? Um, so uh, someone with uh, survival or track skills might be able to remember exactly where you came I'd from. I navigate. That could oh. Work. oh, navigate. Oh, yeah. yeah, try navigate, it. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and roll navigate. Okay. That's a good idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fifty-seven. Oh no, it's I'm a I'm a thirty. So you've 57. already lost it in all this snow. You're not it's sure just... which peak it was and how to get back. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm unfamiliar with this. Shoot. There's no, can I l look and see and help? Can I try? Uh, what skill are you using? Survival? Uh, yes, but make it hard. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. I hate all my dice. I was a 96. <laughs> uh, I so hate them all. I have no more to throw away. I only took two sets with me because I thought surely both won't screw me over. Horribly... Um, Geraldine asks the question no one thought of, wait, how do we get back? And okay. you look back up at those peaks and the snow is so thick and you realize you don't know which, which one you just climbed down from. What? Do you think old man Whitley fell down here and wasn't able to get back? Maybe. I, I really think that's what happened. I mean, we're very smart women and we can't even get back. So there's only, we can only really go forward, right? Determine some see if there's any life here uh, where they can maybe help us. We can't give up. Are we going to, like, is it too cold? Are we going to eventually freeze here? Is that how cold it is? Or You want to find some shelter, but uh, putting on that, that winter clothing was smart. You're not taking, um, uh, let's say, 1d6 damage every 12 hours from it, which is a possibility. All right. All right, all right. I would like to see first. I would like to see. Okay, okay, we just need to move forward. Move forward. We can do this. Has anyone been here? I would like to look for tracks that we could possibly follow. I know it's snowing a lot, but maybe there's signs that someone's been here. And if so, perhaps we can find where they are. Or oh, any sign of life if we look around. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, yeah, you can look for tracks. Um, I what have skill track. are you using? Track? Use oh, that. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, one, one summer, I went with my family and um, we learned how to track some things. That's all. That's the story. It's a very bougie survival camp. Yeah. <laughs> How'd Can you I, know? I rolled an 85. Oh. This is horrible. No. Can I push this? I don't know how I would, how do I make this better? I, what would I do? We're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh um, we could, um, we're going to uh, move some snow around for you. We can you. help, right? It's like maybe I can't see anything, but I feel like I might be able to find something. But I well, maybe maybe you do, maybe your friends do help you. Maybe you tell them to go off in different directions and all kind of like scan the area look instead yeah. of just you. you. Find, look, and I tell them the signs they should look for, but don't go too far because I don't want us to not be able to find ourselves back. All right, again. all right. All right, and you can make your track roll again. But remember, if you fail it this time, something horrible happens. It's good to have friends. That's a 14. Oh, yeah. Yay. It is a hard success. Oh, very good. Well, uh, I'm sorry I didn't help you get down the mountain. I have excellent news. You found a pair of two hooved footprints leading oh, no. over a hill no. uh, down into a uh, rocky valley. All right. Oh. Hooved footprints, I don't like it. We just follow them. Wait, wait, why don't you like, hold on. There's not really a reason not to like him, right? Because it's just too, it's 
two-legged hoofed creature. Hold on. He had the chance, right? He appeared right in front of you? Or no, that was a ghost. That was a ghost. Well, the thing is, he had his, he, he must have known we were there and he didn't attack us. Feels like he could have. true. And that author is very fond of satyrs. All right. Yes, it's true. In the books, the children were dancing with the satyr, right? Is the satyr a good friend? In the books, Orion the satyr is a uh, friendly satyr. No. Who helps them against the evil satyrs. <gasps> there are evil satyrs. That you can read about in The Sinister Satyr. Oh, yes, of course. So this might be the sinister one, but Orion is the friendly one. So maybe, maybe we're in the books and maybe this is Orion. We're going to choose to believe it. I lo- yeah. All right. All right. Hey, let's, let's follow. Let's On follow him. Maybe Going he's scared of us. True. Going down into the uh, rocky valley, you eventually see from about 300 yards off a bunch of squat stone buildings covered in frost. Some sort of village or grouping of structures. About how many? <laughs> Great question. How evil does um, do this? It looks like to be about yeah. eight. Oh, okay. Small settlement. Uh, I, no, yeah. I like Nora's question. Will you answer Nora's oh, question? Oh, what was the question? <laughs> how, how evil do these structures look? They look pretty evil. Oh. Um, <laughs> they, they, they look like they're made uh, carved out of black stone, and looking closely through the wind and the snow, you notice that they have no windows. They just have black hole do- like doors in their side. Uh-oh. Oh, well, let's get on with it. Let's go. Yes, let's let's avoid this. This you area. can't avoid things just because I've put this in front of you. I'm just saying again, <laughs> as your keeper, you can go no thanks and walk a different direction. I feel, I feel yes. the no thanks. Oh, no, 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 nope, thank you. Nope. nope. So this no is where you. the one line of hoof prints. Lead. Oh, they lead directly to it. Uh, yeah, let's let's go. go. Let's keep going. I don't I, want to go there. It doesn't look nice. Great. I, as an investigator, I have a problem not investigating oh. something that we happen upon, especially when we're in a place that we don't know and we do need oh, shelter. That's however, how we got here. Well, uh, Wait, you said however. It sounds like you're, 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 you might be yeah. going back on your moral code. Yes, of an I'm like however. This is a, a these are eight very frightening sco- uh, 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 structures. Okay, so we're all in agreement, right? Let's pass. Yes. Just hard keep pass. going. Hard, <laughs> hard pass. pass. Right. pass. Extreme right. um, pass. Okay, so you can climb back up out of the valley the way you came and continue across the icy plain. Would you like to do that? Yes. You could also go back toward the mountains and try to get around them for a while, but that didn't go so well for your friend Penelope. Yeah. No. No, let's... Yeah, there's, if, there was a good... In the story, there was a good one. So, yeah, let's... See you where if there's any other settlements. Yes. Very good. Is there anything else I remember from the story that's like, um, the signs of where did Orion live? Oh, by a nice babbling brook. And if you just listen for the water, you'll know where to find it. You know, anything like that. Well, in the books, it is always winter in dreamland, but never Christmas. I knew it. Um, but there's a white witch here. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but in terms of a, a landmark that you recognize... No, the fanciful land of the books wasn't just a vast, icy plain. Uh, are you going to just kind of hoof it across that plain, or are you going to... Hoof it is probably the... Can I do another, at the risk of being redundant, should I try and do another, some sort of survival or something? Your survival see? is for mountains. This yes. is a oh, vast, we're... icy plain. We're not on mountains anymore. Yes. Oh, no. Um, natural world? though perhaps my natural world knowledge Ooh. could help us navigate through the icy plain. You can you can roll natural well, world. Thank you. <laughs> you can roll Jared. natural world. Um I will spend five luck points to uh, turn this from a forty five to a forty which is a success. Regular success. Okay. Um you uh find signs of extremely large avian life. Oh. Uh, that means extremely large birds. Um, right. There uh, is a nest in some rocks that is extremely large, and you find bones in it. Oh, I don't like this. And in other places, <laughs> you see where uh, into the stone, some sort of giant talons have scratched gouges. 
I... Oh, it's Bronco. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, we are going to be murdered by giant birds, or we're going to be murdered by evil satyrs, or we're going to be murdered by falling off <laughs> of a cliff, or we're going to Wait. be murdered by the cold, or one... we're going to be murdered by the constable. <laughs> Uh, We're going to be murdered by the tentacles. Tara, you're, you're, being, you're being a bummer. <laughs> you're being a bit of a bummer. Um, I want to look around. There's one other thing that we might do. Instead of looking down, maybe we look up and see if there's any sign of um, a smoke smoke rising. Oh, Interesting. And, uh, that way, maybe there's a fire. It is a cold place. That's clever. That's a good idea. That is uh, interesting. Practical. Um, uh, you look for a while. I'm gonna s assume you've you've stopped your march. You're staying fairly close to where you started. Is that is it fair to assume? Yeah, I think so. Um, after a little while, smoke starts to come up from that grouping of huts that you saw earlier, the stone huts that are down in the valley nearby. Shall we follow it? It's you it's can group continue of life? to walk across this plain. I mean, I feel like if we walk yes. across the plain, the wa the wild birds will come out or come out of you know the sky and scoop us up like tiny yes. little mice that we are. Like easy targets. Yes, mm -hmm. I think so too. All right. Should we? Maybe. Maybe the nice Sata is all alone in the evil Sata buildings making a fire to keep themselves warm. Yeah, the, I look, choose to believe that. What we could do is just stake them out and see what their behavior is. You know, if they're well fed, if, yes. you know. Yes, yes, yes. Just see if they're... Right, yes. Let's go back. Good Reason. thing one of you survived on the streets of London. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still have my nails. <laughs> uh, right, of course. So um, you can stake them out. I just need stealth rolls from everybody, and it'll work like last time. If the majority of you are successful, right, okay. then the whole party is successful. Uh, please, dice, play dice. Shoot. With me. 42 under, uh, uh, 42 four. over 40, so I'm going to spend two luck points. Okay. Four. For the four, first nice. Time. No, nice. Geraldine? Yes. How about Seven. Seven. Okay, so most of you are very, very lucky. Um, okay. Um, you uh, sit uh, behind a rock watching the odd stone village where they have lit some sort of enormous bonfire in the center of it. Mm. And you see now capering humanoid forms with hooved legs dancing around the huge bonfire that they've made. Uh, you only see them in silhouette. So, so far you haven't looked upon, you know, their true uh, visage, but uh, these horrible, uh, this horrible capering dance uh, disgusts you. It looks like some sort of primitive and orgiastic rite. It, what is this? Are they burning wood? Um, uh, yes, you believe that they're burning some sort of vegetation of yeah. some sort. Does it feel like they're all there? <laughs> all of them? Yeah. There are at least... There are at least 12 separate Ugh. humanoids dancing yeah. around this fire. All right. What if, while they're distracted, we sneak over and peek into their windows and... I don't know... No, don't look at me like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, um, the, uh, uh, it sounds like our, our, our primary goal is is to um, develop a, a sort of long. St I think our primary goal is to develop a long-standing um, source of shelter, right? Uh, pretty yes. much, yes. Um, yeah. Not something. I mean, maybe something temporary. In the meanwhile, um, what do you want to see in in you know, just want something to that will help us. I don't. I don't know. Get back where we were. were. I, honestly, I'm grasping at straws here. Uh, Are we hungry? Um, make constitution rolls. Mm. Right. Ninety-five. You're very hungry. I am no. ravenous. Eighty-eight. Oh. Ten. You're hungry. Oh, I am hungry. Um, if you failed your constitution roll, you're getting pretty hungry. And if you don't eat something within, oh, let's call it five hours, oh, then I might start taking I'm away stopping. HP. Okay. Oh, I'm no. Well, I can have that beet soup again. In that case, yeah. God. That was the last it time. wasn't very filling. It was T T T soup. <laughs> yes, it's just a lot of needing to pee, really. Right. Actually, we haven't had a cup of tea in, in almost oh, an hour. Well, I miss tea. tea. I do so miss tea. tea. All right. Well, I like the idea then of peeking in, seeing if they have any stores of or whatever these or creatures something. eat. A piece of cheese, anything. A piece of cheese would be ideal. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Let's it's go. Just, knock yes. on the door. See if I there's any. Right Are you now. sneaking up? 
Uh, yes. yes. Okay, uh, um, I think I'm going to ask for another round of stealth rolls. Okay. Uh, we're sneaking yeah. in the house then. Uh, 22. Ooh. Uh, under on? 40. I don't... 67? 89. <laughs> 14. Fail, fail, succeed, I'm gonna succeed. I'm going to spend two to make it a hard success. Okay, then I'm going to say that puts you over. If you do that, that puts you over the, the tie and you guys are able to sneak really close, and now you see them up close. Uh, they, um, there are some with the sex of males, some with the sex of females. They are hairy. They have cloven hooves. Their mouths are way too wide for their faces. Their eyes are small and beady and don't really have whites to them. They're like goat-like, oh. and they have huge curved horns coming up out of their heads, and as you look at them dancing around the fire, laughing and spitting and uh, howling, you must make sanity roll. Uh, Claire, are these Come the on. nice ones? No. <laughs> 34, I'm okay. Nine. 31, I'm all right. Sanity. What was my sanity? Power plus. No problem. Did anybody fail yep, yet? I'm good. Nope. You're good? <laughs> yeah, everybody good. succeeded? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, mm -hmm. you're right by one of those buildings. They don't have windows, but there is a uh, dark uh, doorway that you could look into. I was really hoping there'd be a pie cooling on the windowsill. I also somehow thought that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think only one of us should go in. Uh, All right. All right. I, I'm not the stealthiest. I'll go. I've got four. I've I'm got not the 40. stealthiest, but I'm willing to try to be stealthy if oh. needed. All right. I'm also, my, my can be stealthy on occasion, but I also have firearms. You're, <laughs> uh, I've already made you roll stealth <laughs> twice, so anybody can go and look in here without right, chance okay. and getting caught. They are very busy with their dancing right cool. now. I'm going right in. Okay. Yeah. Going right in? Right. Yeah. Um, you find a, like a dirty, like fur mat on the floor. Uh, and then in like a little cubby, uh, like kind of uh, carved out of the wall, you find like meat that's been kind of, it, it's partly raw, but it's kind of partly frozen oh. as well. And then there's a big stone kind of pitcher filled with some sort of black liquid. Oh, God. This is food. Food for who or what, I should say. <laughs> Can we like sniff it and yeah, see can if it's take a palatable? Look. Maybe it's coffee. Oh, um, that would be great. Uh, it's American. It, it has coffee. a little bit of the scent of wine. <gasps> Even better. Let's go. Can we find cups anywhere? <laughs> uh, no, you do not. Is there is there a way to to warm or to cook this this frozen meat? <laughs> is there a stove? Is there an oven? Is there anything? There's a big <laughs> fire outside. <laughs> yes, but it's outside. Is the problem? <laughs> yes. Um, now I'm afraid that that this is the uh, this is the survival of these these beings. This is the kind of uh, way that they live. Well, we can take it with us. It's not going to spoil. It's freezing everywhere, and and, and that way, when we're away from them, we can make our own fire. That's a good idea because we have five away. hours until I get completely starving and turn right. into another monster that's supposed to be. I love I love that you know that about yourself. Um, <laughs> I know we're only in one building and there's others, but I would like to do a quick spot hidden to see if there's any signs that anyone who had gone missing perhaps came through this way and have been maybe is that their meat? Make a spot hidden roll. That's a seven. So Ooh. I think my spot digging around in 20, this, so. Digging around in this hut, yeah. you find a pair of overalls, a button up shirt, a cap and a tool belt with gardening tools. Don't <gasps> Take the meat. Make a sanity roll. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Arthur. Oh, Mr. Peter. Oh no. Oh no, it's 79. That's a fail. You take four sanity. Oh, I'm only at 50 now. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like tears are streaming down Clara's face that are, you know, freezing a little, obviously, as they come down. She's like, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. I I think it's the gardener. I think it's Harold Peters. Well, how do you know that he died because of that? And not from the satyrs outside? I no, she's saying she thinks the food is. Oh, I think the food yeah. is him. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. Oh, no. <laughs> and there's just like, right, just okay. tea. 
seconds. Let's get. Uh, we, got, we, got, we have to get. Yeah, we have to get out. We have to get out. We could be lunch dinner. We lunch. All right. If you're sneaking out. <laughs> I oh. need. I am gonna ask for another stealth roll to kind of sneak out of. The, are you sneaking out of the village altogether? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. All right. I need another stealth roll from everybody. Yeah. It's a forty. Forty yes. exactly. Ooh. I fail. Forty-six, but I could. I could use luck to get that to a normal. A nor. What a um, normal. Yeah. Test. Sure. What's the lucky break 45. that allows you to do I'll that? Forty-five. I use luck. <laughs> Both of you. Yeah. Uh, the lucky uh, lucky break. I mean, this is just random chance, but um, the the uh, satyrs are they've they've hit they've hit a climax in their production of dancing, mm -hmm. and and it's like at that moment that we're like, okay, we're going now, and they're all like facing each other and, mm -hmm. and doing stuff to each other. Uh, doing stuff. Uh, less said the better, but agreed. Okay. I said it was an orgiastic rite. Um, you did, you did. It's definitely not, not the sort of thing that a uh, aristocrat a from uh, Great Britain in the 1920s would I'm want to see. Quite scandalized. Uh, yes. So, I don't have my fainting uh, cow. Yes. Agreed. And uh, you both can add luck in okay. order, to, um, in order okay. to succeed. And that means we have three successes now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of yes. four. So you are able to make it out of the village. And uh, you find yourself on the other end of that sort of uh, valley um, and there's rocks to climb up around through. You could get up back up higher to that icy uh, plain, that sort of plateau. You hear the voice oh, of a god. Um, yeah, so you can head back up to that plateau or you could uh, climb around in these rocks for a while. This valley has some rocks and uh, mountainous terrain around it. You could kind of explore or you could head back up to the plateau. Does the rock Look like the same rock that that statue is made out of. Um, yes. Ooh. You, ooh. All right. Well, I, there, there is a way out because I think this is the same rock as that Iben? Iben statue. So perhaps, um, FC came in here, got the rock, brought it out, carved it into a statue. <gasps> but uh, how does that help us? I don't know. Uh, if, so if this is on the other side of the vil the village. What well, could you do? Could you track uh, again to see if there's oh. uh, things coming out? Yes, yes. I will look. I will immediately look and just see if I can see more signs of like someone who has traveled through here. Okay, no Please. problem. Uh, that's a one. Uh, oh. Whoa. Wow. No. wow. Um, you have to cross a little distance, mm -hmm. but leading um up into this kind of rocky area um where there's like canyons almost, like very, very um, thin little paths that you could take up into the rocks. You find um, uh, footprints that you can't quite identify. They don't look human, but there's like a lot of them and they're okay. very small. All right, very small footprints. Well, here's a bunch of very small footprints. They're not human. Should we just follow them? I yeah, I, I think so. They, yeah, whatever they are, they'll be less scary than the big old satyrs. Yeah, we yeah. could take right. them. Okay. Yeah, we could take them, right. Let's kill them. Let's immediately <laughs> plan on killing them. You walk for a little while, um, uh, and uh, you're very hungry, uh, oh, no. and you're getting very tired. Uh, and uh, But the wind and the uh, snow kind of abate a little bit, and you come to uh, a place where uh, thick silver strands of webbing uh, stretch spiders. between two no. sides oh, of a narrow no. canyon. No, no, oh no, no. It's the spiders. Oh. The spiders with the scary plot. Oh my god. Wait, though. I studied that anatomy. Maybe I'll maybe I suddenly know how to magically very easily kill all the spiders because I studied their anatomy. I mean, uh, maybe so you just suddenly know how to kill all the spiders. No, I probably <laughs> don't. <laughs> so desperate. All right, you're all talking at the base of the web. <laughs> oh, oh no! I do have a question. Uh, very no. good. Is there uh, how dense of a webbing are we are we talking about here? The webbing stretches between two sides of a canyon. Uh, more than a two-story house in height and now looking up on the sides of a canyon Penelope you see that there are little holes little caves really high up mm. on, on the canyon walls oh dear is anything stuck in those webs yes oh, that, uh, oh, a good question oh, no. you see that there is a humanoid form no. hanging <gasps> from the web is it is it, oh, is it, is it, is it FC? 
I don't know. Someone would have to go and cut them down. I'm gonna uh, use my oh. nails to slash through some of. Try to slash through some of the, the webbing. Okay. Um. Interesting. Uh, your uh, your your nails. My nails. Okay. okay, great. You don't touch them. Um, it's really sticky and it kind of just stretches and doesn't really break unless you would like to make a strength roll or really pull it until it breaks. Yeah, I really want. Okay, to make see. a strength roll. Twenty. Good. Out of right. under fifty. Um, oh, 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 and twenty-five is half. Ooh, oh, so I, okay. hard strength. Incredible. You make a hard strength roll. So, would you like to make that humanoid form fall to the bottom by doing this? Yes. Um, you pull really hard with your nails, and you pull the right strand, and it finally breaks. And uh, the humanoid form kind of rolls down off of the web, flop, 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 flop at your feet. Uh, and uh, it is the size of a person. It looks like a person under a blanket, but instead they're under, like, lots of, like, silvery webbing. <gasps> let's cut them out immediately. Yeah, let's, right, let's yes. I, I do want to try something, though. I... With these webs, I because we established that Penelope uh, smokes a pipe, I would assume that she has matches on her, and I want to see oh. what happens when you light this web on fire. Oh, interesting. The whole web? I want to try just part of it. On uh, uh, you not mean the, the body or the not on the body webbing. on the webbing on the webbing itself? Oh, uh, and you uh, oh interesting. Um, oh my gosh! It's kind of windy here. The stuff isn't super flammable, so if you want to definitely catch this thing on fire, what I would you like need to, to give me a roll. Okay, so what I'd like to do then is take the pipe, the, the the part of the pipe that you put tobacco in. I'd like to put some sort of something flammable, start a fire in there, and you, that that way it's larger than just the match. It might. Catch. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Uh, I think give me a dexterity roll. Okay. All right. Uh, no. It's an 88. 88. Well, all I'll say is that you are starting this fire, but, you know, it's, it's tough. And you're not a survivalist who knows how to start fires very easily. So you're working on it when out of the caves above, two spiders, <sighs> bloated and purple, the size of cars oh my God. move out onto the web and start moving down toward both uh, all of you. No. Give me a sanity roll oh, upon no. seeing oh, them. Oh yeah. my God. I will be surprised if I survive this. Ooh, <laughs> 65 under 67. Nicely done. Oh yeah, 30, I did it. <laughs> nice. I failed. 30. Oh no. I can't believe this. You lose one sanity. Nice. nice. <laughs> the rest of you lose, uh, the rest of you lose, uh, wait, oh, you lose one no matter what. Okay, so even okay. if you succeeded, you lose one. Um, okay. uh, oh boy. Penelope was just in danger of losing quite a bit more, and I rolled a one. Okay. Um, but, so, you know, the danger has not passed as no. these things start to move. They're, they're, they're huge and purple and bloated with, like, eight eyes uh, as these mandibles kind of click wetly and they head are heading down the web toward you and you have not been able to get that fire started Ugh. yet. What kind of dreamland is this? I think that we need to roll, uh, we, well not, not roll, we need to get into initiative order. So oh, okay. if you have a firearm that you're using, I do. firing a firearm happens before everything else. Yes. Uh, uh, we, and we go according to decks. So uh, who has 80 decks? Anybody? 70 decks. Do I have 80 decks? I'm sorry. You have an 80 yes. decks. Mm -hmm. So you are going to go first. All what right. would you like to do? Are you firing a gun? Can we say that I um, strapped that rifle like onto my back before we, we can uh, certainly say that. that I have it? I'm a little worried about shooting and either causing an avalanche or getting more spiders to come out here. Do you know what I want to do? What would you like to do? Instead of shooting right now, what I want to do is really focus on trying to rip through the the webbing around the humanoid form in the hopes that there's something on their body that might be helpful. Give me a hard strength roll. It's probably not going to do it. Um, no, it's 59 and my strength is 50, so it's not even a right. Um, your hands are getting all stuck in the webbing. You're kind of, now you feel like you're stuck to the form yourself. Um, I should have asked, is anyone going to fire a gun? Were you going I to, or are you going to continue well, with the fire plan? This is what I want to do. I want to shoot the webbing to see if it'll just, they'll just fall. Okay, so you were going to fire a gun, but you're kind of doing it to the webbing, so it's fine. Yeah. So what is your uh, dexterity? 50. What's yours? 50. 50. Uh, my dex is 50. Okay, so uh, it doesn't matter. So, Nora, why don't you go ahead and have Penelope 
fire at the webbing. If oh, you can make right. a firearms roll, if you get it hard, I think you can take out another, like, kind of support of this web. Okay. A 78 over 60. Shit. A fail. Bang! Your uh, handgun goes off uh, and, and nothing changes. It just uh, ricochets off the rock. And now... It's turn. Holiday. Okay, my question is, are they distracted by this gunshot? It well? doesn't appear to... So they are climbing quickly toward all of you. Toward all of us. Okay, um... Uh, oh God, I'm, I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Uh, yeah, I, do I know you're an author, not a, a fighter. But I do have a shovel. You do have a shovel. Um, oh, that's going to be like a club that does 1d6 damage, but you have to roll fighting to use it. Um, they're not all the way to you yet. Do you want to so just I mean, prepare? Yeah, so I think I'm, can I do, is, can I dodge before? Can I make a... Anytime someone attacks you, you get one dodge okay. on their turn. Okay, so yeah. I wait, so wait on that. All right, yeah, so she's just going to prepare. Like, she hears the gun go off, and she's like this. She's like, oh, okay. watching these things come toward her. You're stealing yourself for uh, combat with these things. Um, they are coming down the web toward you. Geraldine. Um, I, uh, will you, uh, how, how m far deep is the web, the webbing into the canyon? It doesn't go forever. You could get to the other side, possibly. Okay, I... It would mean moving through, I would say, perhaps only like 10 to 20 yards of oh webbing. Okay. Yeah. Instead, what I'm going to do is bury, I'm going to try to hide under the snow. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Give me a stealth roll. Okay. <laughs> Just in case, like my, my dream, my dream thing to happen is that they, they land kind of above me and I just like go. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine. Yeah. Wolverine them in the, in the belly. Okay. Right. But maybe. Okay. So uh, 14. Excellent. 14 stealth. Um, uh, Geraldine quickly um, covers herself in snow and you can't see where she's at. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, now it's the spider's turn. They uh, very quickly traverse their web and arrive on the same level as the rest of you. Oh. Are they right above where Geraldine is? Oh, I, I hope know. so. At least one of them. Let's find out with a chance roll. I'm going to say, based on the fact that they're coming directly for the investigators, there's a 50-50 <laughs> chance. Yeah. So if I roll under 50, Geraldine is positioned. I rolled a 48. Yay! Okay, so one is clicking and clacking right above you, Geraldine. They, they, they're not going to attack yet. They've just arrived. Okay. But they are horrible. They're the size of cars, uh, and uh, they are looming over you. Uh, and there's a smell to them, too, and it's like a chemical formaldehyde-type smell. Uh, the clicking they make is filling your ears and driving you mad. Claire St. Clair. Um, perhaps in my hair is a, uh, a, a hair, a comb, a, a pit, like a, a sharp, a, a, a comb of some sort mm -hmm. that I could pull out and has a bit of sharp edge on, on it. And I could use that to try and help cut through the webbing. Um, actually, I think that makes complete sense. Roll, uh, I usually use credit rating to see if someone brought a very lucky item. Okay. I... Cannot roll today to save my life. Literally, <laughs> 80, 70. I'm spending 10 luck points. Okay. Um, you spend 10 luck points, and you can rip into that. Um, you can rip into that webbing, and suddenly it it, it pops like a bubble, uh, and a weird Ew. smell comes uh, out. Uh, and you're looking at the partially preserved corpse of none other than Arnold Whitney. You know oh, him from being in his house. Yes, and he's half eaten, and his oh, uh, his abdomen he like has the, been. Yeah, he looks like the ghost. No, he doesn't look like the ghost. That wasn't. That's not <laughs> who Ar That wasn't Arnold Whitney. I, I, I got, that was a third individual. Yeah, because he didn't have a belly a belly oh, birthmark. Oh, you're right. That's right. <gasps> uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you Which take I a sanity. Up. You take. You have to take sanity when you discover this corpse oh, like this. Yeah. Was in '95. Oh, '95. Oh, so I failed. We are it. the worst role I it is this horrible. <laughs> My accent is changing. It's so bad. It's just two more sanity. Uh, oh, good. Because uh, uh, finding a corpse isn't quite as scary as giant spiders. Penelope. Christ. I'm going to try to shoot at one of the spiders. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> let's start having you go first, but that's fine. Go ahead. All right. Make a firearms Don't roll against one of them. 
We'll call them righty and lefty. <gasps> All right, I, I rolled a 48 over 45, so I'm going to spend that luck. Okay, great. Uh, and do you shoot it righty or lefty? Uh, lefty. And please uh, give me a damage roll. You've hit them. All right. Uh, 1d3 plus? Nope, that would, be your, that would be your hand. Oh, that's unarmed. Oh, that's right, a d8. A d8, that's nice. pretty good. Uh, a hearty two. <laughs> hearty two, okay. Um, the thing, you can see very clearly where your bullet pierced its <laughs> abdomen, and it doesn't really acknowledge that that happened or even change the sounds or movements it's making. Well, shit. Oh, shite. Uh, yep, it's <laughs> not really great. And now I will ask Holiday, what would you like to do? Okay, so um, she sees what Penelope does, and I have to assume it's slightly distracted, not at all, nothing... It doesn't seem distracted by that? I'm afraid not. It right. doesn't seem to even acknowledge that gunshot. All right, with this, this is what I would like to do, and you can tell me if I can do it. She would like to somehow get on that spider with her shovel. Oh, okay. I, I love this. Um, you can somehow climb up onto the spider. Is that possible? I have ride Give me a hard <laughs> dexterity roll. Mm. Come on, you can do it. God, no, wait, what did you get? Oh, no, uh, I don't oh, like I it. No. But I, I can't use Lux for, for the dexterity, can I? Uh, n well, how much did you miss it by? It's 64 by 50. And you wanted, I wanted it to be hard. That's 25. Yeah. You just fail it, I'm afraid. Oh, you God, try to hop up onto the spider it. and you immediately uh, uh, slide off, but it's weird bristly fur kind of scrapes no. and opens up small no. cuts on your hands. No. And now it's Geraldine's turn. Is righty or lefty above me? Lefty is right above you. All right, right in the in the gut. I'm gonna. I guess I I have a weapon unarmed. Is that the one we want to do? Yes. Punch it. Okay, it's a 25. Not no bueno. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna give you a bonus die because you're so well positioned. Okay. What yeah. does that What does that mean? It means you roll the tens die, two tens dies, okay. and take the better one. Okay. Okay. 87. Not good. Come on. 47, not good. I'm going to push. Uh, you cannot push in combat. You can't push in combat. You cannot push in combat. Okay. And so your Wolverine claws go up into this thing's abdomen, and they immediately bend when they hit. No. Okay. We this thing's hard carapace. <laughs> oh, my God. And now it's their turn. Uh, but I yelled really loud. I was like... Ah, take that, spiders. <laughs> that's okay. Just so you know. Uh, I'll I take it into very, account. Very confident. Everybody make a luck roll based okay. on your current luck. You've been using your oh, luck, so no. make it based on the current total. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, so close. <gasps> a four. Nice. Nope. Not I 89. Failed. I failed uh, mine by four points. You fa failed by four. It sounds like you failed by a lot with an 89. <laughs> and how did you fail by? Uh, yeah, I failed. I have a 63 and I have a 37 currently. Um, one of the spiders goes to bite Holiday, who was trying to climb up on top of it. Oh. This is Righty, goes to bite that. Holiday. The spider succeeds in biting <gasps> Holiday. It's uh, thick, uh, uh, very thorny, um, <gasps> mandibles, uh, bite into Holiday's shoulder, and uh, that means you lose oh, no. 1d3 damage. God. That's going to be three, and now um, uh, 1d10 poison right. damage. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. We need to come up with an idea because it's a mess. <laughs> okay. Uh, two poison damage, and you can make an All extreme right. con roll if you'd want to have right. that damage. Yeah. Are you kidding me? 67. 67. Bell. 67. Yeah. Okay. So you take uh, you take all together, you take five damage. How many hit points do you have all together? Six left. You have six left? Okay, left. so that wasn't more than half, so we don't okay. have to check if yeah. you're maimed. Uh, and now one of them attacks our friend Penelope, the other one, Lefty, yeah, Penelope. attacks no. Penelope. <laughs> you fell earlier. I did. No. This one fails. It sort of snaps oh, at you oh, and misses. Thank goodness. Um, and uh, now uh, that those are their actions. Um, we are getting close. This is our climax, just oh. so you know. Um, I have a, if we're doing a final thing that we have to do, I have an idea. Um, you do? It might not be the final thing, but I think it's time for your final thing, okay. right? Um, is, right? Yeah, yes. okay. So is someone, is anybody firing a gun? 
No. no okay. No. Then we'll go by dexterity order with clear St. Right. Clair. Okay. Remember when I lost my mind temporarily and I was obsessed with that stone that I know in the stories landed protection. Well, I pull it out again and I'm desperate and I don't know how we're going to get out of this. And I look at the stone and I go, please, the stories seem to be real. Perhaps you actually are too. Ah! And I hope that some sort of magic, something in the books, this stone would emanate magical light that would protect them and banish the evil things. Yes, if that's all right for me to say. And so that's what I'm hoping suddenly will happen. Maybe I can make a power roll. Pick up, make a power roll. Can I spend luck on this? Um, yeah. I'm seven points away from it being a regular success. So I will spend seven points of luck. I am down to like eight, uh, less than 20 points. I'll do the math in a minute total. Uh, so that is a, a regular success. The spiders seem to shy away from you. They seem to kind of hiss and kind of move back from our friend Claire St. Clair. What are you going to do, Penelope? I'm going to yank the femur from a corpse. I'm going to wrap it in some cloth and try to light that on fire yes. and stab that spider with it. <laughs> uh, the, uh, what are you yanking from the corpse? What his you... femur. Oh, that his long, femur. Yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, wow. Like, that long and you're making femur. a torch out of it. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's... And I'm going to stab <laughs> that spider with a lit femur torch. A, le mm -hmm. a lit femur torch. Um, I think that it, 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 that's a multiple turn action. First, oh. uh, let's spend this turn making the torch. Fine. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, you, you, you make it. I'm not going to make you roll. You All can right. wrap a bunch of webbing around a femur. No okay. problem. Okay. We're, we're okay. wearing lots of clothing. Absolutely. Yes, Holiday, um, your, your, your shoulder is like <laughs> really red and like swollen and part of your clothing is ripped off here at your shoulder. Uh, it looks like the worst uh, bug bite of all time, but it's like the size of a football. What do you do? This isn't my first time in the rodeo. And she wants to gather herself up and at running speed, she wants to run and literally slide underneath the spider and get the shovel. Like the shovel's with her and she wants to shove it up in its neck. Yes. I love it. Um, give me a, a fighting roll, but because that's such a beautiful image, go ahead and add a bonus die. Yeah. Ooh, I get a, so another 10. Another 10, yeah, and take the better. Two. Take the lower. All right, let's see. Seven, 27. Oh, I can do 20. Uh, yeah, I think you, I think so. Yep. That's 20. Um, so, uh, so you, uh, slide under and you stab and now, uh, give me, uh, the damage. I'm going to call that one D six for you. One D six. One roll a six. Come on, come on, come on. Five. Yeah. Five. Um, yes. And you get the one that hasn't been hit yet. The one was, the one was hit by a gun, but this one hasn't been hit yet. And you take down some of its HP. Uh, you definitely stab into it and black ichor uh, sprays out onto you and onto your shovel. Uh, but the thing is still up and moving easily. Geraldine. Um, okay, I, I, I really don't know. Oh wait, <laughs> if, here's what I wanna do. If, if, this is gonna be hypothetical. If, if um, you, if you are able to make a fire, what I want to do is lob this, um, you know, this webbed up man through the fire and create a, um, like a, a volley of man fire <laughs> onto the spiders oh, as well. Dead. Okay. Like, but so you're preparing the man to throw to, into to the top. fire. To, yeah, through the fire uh -huh. and into a, a, like maybe if you've got one spider, this one will launch into the second spider. Um, you heft him up and you're ready. You'll need a strength roll in a minute, but you heft him up and you're, you're ready. Okay. And now it's the spider's turn. And they, um, they're kind of, let's see. I'm going to see something. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, it never makes me feel good. Yeah. Okay, they are scared of this stone that Claire oh. St. Clair is brandishing. Right. And so um, they are going to not attack this round, but you oh. can tell they're getting bolder and bolder and kind of Ooh. snapping at you a little bit and then crawling back a Ooh. little bit. Uh, and so now, uh, Claire St. Clair, what would you like to do? I will run at them with the with the stone and hope they're getting closer to them. Okay. Well, and I'll I'll 
sh shout a phrase from the stories. Oh. And it is, um, you know, the catchphrase that, that, that they have and about the, what was their last name? The, their the last Stevenson. Name? The Stevensons, I say. Stevenson, stick together. And because uh, that's, you know, their <laughs> phrase as I just run at them with the stone and hope that it's going to keep backing them away or keep them at bay or scare them further. Excellent. And now we come to you. This is the big fire roll, right? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to let you let it light it on fire. Uh, if you give me some sort of roll and, and, and then you could also uh, throw it. Let me see. So let's what see how this goes. Can I use fire? I, I let you use dexterity before. So try dexterity again. Dexterity. All right. We can yeah. I think it was hard before. Right. Yeah. I'm going to make it hard again. 34. Is, is that a hard success on your dexterity? It is nine points away from a hard, so I'm going to spend luck. Spend luck. Yeah. Nice. Um, you have lit it on fire, and now it's time to throw it into the web, and I'm not going to make you roll for that because the web is so big, right? And that's right. where you're throwing it, right? Yes. So you throw your femur torch into the web, which immediately web. lights on fire. I was going to stick it into the spider. Oh, into the spider. Forgive me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Uh, you stick. You know what? Yeah. yeah, I need a fighting roll for that. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm letting you make multiple rolls, but it is the climax. Time is now 5.55. No, can we come back around? <laughs> no, this is the last roll. You last fail. Roll. Your torch doesn't... No. Your torch... Your torch doesn't even make a scorch mark on the spider. Rule of fighter. cool, Jared. Uh, what? Rule of cool. What do you do? She what do you do? So cool. We like have to go. The man's or... making us leave. We she have to finish. <laughs> <laughs> she gets the shovel and she twists it. Oh. And you can tell this is not the first time that she's twisted a shovel in someone before. Oh. And she smiles evilly as she does it. What do I roll? You roll 2d6 <laughs> damage. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's not the normal damage, but I want to see what 2d6 <laughs> does. Three. Three more damage. <laughs> and now, finally, Geraldine, uh, there's uh, there's a torch bur bur burning. Okay, this is this is going to be so clumsy, but I'll, I'm panicking. So here we go. Um, all right, light, light, lob the man through the torch and onto a spider. That's the whole goal. Okay, great. Give me a strength roll. I think it's going to have to be hard. I, I, yes, I... <laughs> 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 15, um, which is five away from excellent or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> from extreme. Right? Extreme, extra. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Um, you lob the body through, uh, through Penelope's torch. It flies toward the webbing. Mm -hmm. It catches the webbing on fire. The webbing, the fire quickly spreads, uh, and uh, the webbing starts to come down. How does the story end? Yeah. It was all you know a what? dream. What do you guys... Oh, yeah, maybe... The stone is a key for something. It's a key. That's <gasps> what it is. I don't know what to do with it. Do something. Jared, I, I you have four up. minutes. It's my job to figure this <laughs> out. The, the, the web no comes pressure. down. Uh, and um, I'm sorry. I, I we think you all spider. did an excellent, excellent role-playing <laughs> job. Excellent investigation. But... These spiders are barely hurt by your attempts in <gasps> typical Cthulhu fashion. Oh, no. The monsters are nigh invincible against meager humans. Oh. And so I'm merely going to leave our investigators here in this cold, windswept oh. uh, locale fighting these massive spiders. And we see the spiders starting to push down <laughs> our investigators. And we see them looming over them with poisonous jaws. And somewhere in Leicester, England, a police constable turns his uh, flashlight toward a wardrobe and feels a bit of a icy wind. Oh, no. And says to his uh, associate, where did those women go? <gasps> oh, no. And Whoa. that's the end of the story. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I feel Think about Call of Cthulhu. Here. I mean, speaking of percentiles, Call of the Cthulhu ends badly oh eighty percent of the time. Oh my god! Eighty percent of the time, it ends bad every time. Oh. They are literally oh. kicking us out of the con floor. That's how oh. dedicated we are here at the Glass Cannon. Woo. We have Woo. brought you all the entertainment we have to give. I want to thank Amy Vorpal. <laughs> 
Alicia Marie, Nora Ibrahim, and Paula Deming for joining me for this four-hour <laughs> chunk of Call of Duty. Ah! We'll be back with more content tomorrow. Troy's here at 10 a.m., then Vampire the Masquerade at 10.15, then interviews with Dan from Sirenscape at 1.15, and then some Pathfinder at 2.30. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>